All right, folks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cheese League. Um, this is June 2022. Uh, we have quite a few gamers in the building tonight. We've got me, McLeod, Coffee Rex, Benji, Caleb, Catherine, Musket, Nick, and McLeod. I think I said McLeod twice. And yeah, yeah, so lots of gamers here tonight. I think this is Nick's last uh, Adelaide local before he heads to, um, to Victoria. So this will be like our last chance as, as local Adelaideans to topple the bands. So we'll see how we go. Um, please folks let me know if the audio is alright, if the game or the um, or the uh, commentary audio needs to go up or down and I'll adjust it accordingly. We've got about, you know, we're going to start in about 10 more minutes time uh, and in the meantime we're just going to have McLeod and Coffee Rex on stream. But until then, stay tuned, we'll be starting very soon. Uh, 20, start, 5.45 p.m. ACDT. Cool. All right, folks. I'm just going to dip.
All right, folks, tournament starting. Get hype. Big things incoming. We have the tournament actually starting now. So uh, let's um, quickly update the bracket here. Edit command bracket. Uh, this should just still work. Start.gg slash cheese league FGC. Okay. One of these should work. Bracket. Oh, it's Nightbot. Uh, okay. Command edit. Bracket. Is that going to work? Yeah, there you go. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually getting the tournament started. So, um, check out the bracket there. Um, I might just actually get the bracket link. Um so that you don't have to fiddle around on, on shart.gg. Fucking shart.gg. What a crappy name. I'm, guys, I'm not over that, by the way. Like, start.gg, are you for real? That shit, that, that's not a good name. I don't think, I literally don't think that's a good name. Just, that's just my opinion, though, you know. That's, uh... You're, you're free to disagree. Folks, if you're in chat, let me know if uh, the audio is all right. Quickly. Okay, there we go. It's going. All right. Who's on stream? All right, hype. It's me and Coffee first. Very good. Let's go. I've seen you win these. I've seen you win these. All right. Let's get it, folks. Me versus coffee. We are in there. All right. Well, well, well. We've got Coffee, Rex, and Kai. And a rivalry as old as time. Two space animal gamers. One on the box, one on the good old-fashioned conch. A fox falca. Two opposites in almost every sense of the word. Really the Vegeta and Goku of uh, South Australia, if I was to categorize it in Dragon Ball Z terms. And it turns out we've got a late entrance to the tournament. A lemons. That's the one thing this tournament needed. There's five more dollars in the pot. And also lemons. The nice comfy ten man and woman bracket. And uh, I don't know how many people are watching in chat, but uh, this will be my last South Australian local. So, shoutouts to that. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to have Coffee Rex versus potentially Lemons for the privilege of playing against Kai. Does that mean Coffee plays Lemons? All right, folks, we're working out uh, the bracket real quick because um, Lemons needs to be in the bracket and we haven't put him in for some reason. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's just grab the bracket real quick. So I can put it in the chat. Uh, 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 uh. The old brackets not started. Hey, eleven entrance. That's all right. Oh wait, no, ten. Never that's mind. That's not bad at all. Okay, let's put this in. Let's go, amps. How you doing, man? Hey, amps. Com, com will be hype actually. Oh, that came out of nowhere, by the way. Yeah, very stacked bracket. <laughs> I'm like, I was really like tempted to just fuck it and go, but I can't. 
Yeah, I decided to go, which is very ill-advised since I'm moving house that weekend. But, uh... Nah. I'll just... It'll work out. Everything works out in the end. And if it doesn't, then... Uh, Wait, wait is this is this, is this this the bracket now? Oh, my God. Yeah, this is incorrect. Is this the bracket now? Is this the bracket now? This is fucky. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? It's the same bracket, just Caleb uh, plays lemons, right? See. Uh, I don't think I have... Wait, I no, I should. Wait, no, I'm not logged in. Ugh. Fuck. I feel like Caleb does lemons is a classic street song. It is, but he's lemons on board. Alright, now we should what? Alright. We've been informed that Lemons has switched to the box, uh, disappointingly. Wait. I'll have a word with him, yeah. Seating. I'm just gonna have a. I'm gonna tell him he looks like a dweeb carrying around the box. I'll get him. <laughs> yeah. Muscat, McLeod, Kaiser, what's that? Like that? I put one in nine to our bench for it. That doesn't matter, yeah. That's it? Alright. Let's look at the bracket again, folks. Alright, type in bracket into chat, everyone. And, um. And then, yeah, copy and file and string. So it is me and coffee now. Yeah, exactly. Hi. 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 Yeah, so the bracket command should be working, folks. Um, and we do have me and coffee on stream now. Yep. All right, let's do it. Uh, Amps, if you don't have PayPal, how can you sign up to Cheese? Um, I would message Jack Henderson on Facebook. Uh, or, yeah, just, just link Florats a message. He'll have... Info for you. Can't you pay play by? Uh, sorry, can't you pay by card? You should be able to pay by card on um, Start.gg. You could probably even like Apple Pay it on your phone. Yeah. TBH. All right. Wish me luck. Good luck, Kai. Good luck to all of our competitors today. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'll figure it out. That's it. What are the? Sorry, what are the numbers for scene select? Is it just numbers? F1. Like F1, F2, F5 for out of game. Uh, okay. F5 for out of game. And, um, so, like, these are your out of games. These are your full screen ones. Yeah. Like, full screen ones. Don't press F11. Don't press F11. Gotcha. Like, that's a bind that you can't change in OBS. That's full screen OBS. Okay. okay. All right. KP Kaiser. Coffee Rex. Love that. How you doing, Connor? McLeod. I'm doing good. How are you, Nick? I'm doing well. I've good been pretty it. busy trying to... I'm living in a house with no furniture at the moment because <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> yep. It like, makes sense. It's weirdly... I don't get sad about things, Coffee, mm -hmm. but it's like very weirdly melancholy to live in a imagine. house where there's just nothing. It's just end of an era. Yeah. How long have you been there? Like two and a half years, but it's just like also I'm leaving Adelaide yeah. as a whole. Yep. I don't, to be honest, I'm not really going to miss living particularly in this house. Yep. Because, like, yep. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, I think it's really exciting. I, th I, I think you'll love Melbourne. I think it's sick. Yeah, I'm keen. I'm very excited. So much fucking organizing. I've really got to figure out how exactly I'm moving everything over there. Because, mm -hmm. like, the plan is to drive, but I don't know whether my mattress will fit in yep. the car. And it's, like, it's touch and go, and I don't want to put it in the car. And still have to sleep on it for another have, week, so I'm just gonna uh, sort it out. You can get like the things you put on the top of the car. Construct yeah. on the top of the car. If uh, if need be, then I will do that. Yep. Ready? Hello, right. amps. All right, folks. Let us know if the audio is right, if the mics or the um, game volume needs to go up or down, and then we'll adjust it. All right. Um. Cool. Looks pretty good. Uh, Emps, I'm gonna go to Melbourne to live. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna live with Geordie, actually. 
Ole Miss in, in, in the Microsoft no Mansion. Contest. That is very exciting. It's just you and Johnny, right? Yeah. 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 That's so. That's actually so sick. What the hell? Yeah. It's gonna be hype. I'm gonna play a lot of Shmi. I'm gonna play land melee against Zelda, which is such a joy. It really is, actually. I don't use the. I don't use sound as much. But it still is like. I'll notice myself getting one or two randomly, the way I'm, why I'm very aware that I'm not looking at the Falco. Yeah. It's just the sort of just like. I'll just notice it. I'm just like, oh, I hit that. I think nice. it's impossible not to use sound cues if you are. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god. Booming game audio. That is very thumbing. Some of us have eardrums. Yeah. Uh, Coffee versus Kai. Coffee getting a lot better on, on the grind. Played him. Just before the tournament to warm up, and like noticeably better than Peach, been putting in a lot of work. That's cool. Insider knowledge, Coffee Rex is like, I played Kai two nights ago and I was kind of shitting on him. So, shitting on him? I just, continuing I was winning the, the friendlies. Uh, yeah, continuing the tradition from two days ago. Really yeah, taking those games. Up. Showing those weren't just, it wasn't just a friendly joke, it wasn't just online. Coffee Rex here to play in the locals with the frame one. Yeah, I mean, Kai, Kai's here to play at all times, even in friendly. So if you take a friendly off Kai, then, you know, it probably would be Oh, that's, uh, that's when you get a bit sad. Yeah, that sucks. Especially if you're used to, like, specific timing of that player and, you're, like, not much of a CRD player. You can get side these night. I've got a feeling Coffee hasn't hit the point where it's differentiated. He just, like, went for a read and right. switched side. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, with Fox, it's kind of, you can just leave a hit out there. Yep. I think he went for like a shine on like a further side B, but I think Kai just like did like an instant jump side B and it just happened again. But it bring it eventually back. Eventually, up the steps. <laughs> That's death though. Kai's just hitting really hard. Kai really taking that extra stop just making it work. God, that Ooh. shine audio is massive. It actually is. The down S2 has got like a little. Oh, <laughs> I just, I just heard it. That is very crispy. You get like the full, full experience. Oh, it's like a thought. It like resonates. Yeah, it is like a thunderclap for sure. Or like the bin. Truck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goes for the soft read on going to the ledge. That's not great. Oh, here X. Ledge lover, as anyone with either notches or angles quickly becomes. And especially box players. Yeah. Any, any, any box player, any notch player, they love, they love the angles. They'll yep. go down. Kai going 1 0 up. Yep. Oh, best of five. Yeah, all best of five. All best of five. All best of five. All stream, all best of five. It is top eight. Yeah. Wait, no, it's not. It was technically top ten. Yeah. This is top eight, isn't it? This is top eight. Yeah. Ready? Well. No. You could talk nice. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. I like the shield wave that's forward out there. The get up attack. Yeah. I just blocking him with these up jumps. I think Coffee losing a bit of faith in an execution. Kai just sort of opening him up and just murdering him. Yeah. Whoa. Coffee's the kind of guy to get disarmed in battles. Yeah. yeah. Kai the kind of guy to hit you really hard when you're disarmed. Yeah. <laughs> Kai looking very serious right now. Yeah, well, Kai. The the thing about having a friendly session before a tournament and winning yeah. is like they know to take you seriously now. Uh huh. And yeah. Probably are prepared uh, at least mentally for like how they're gonna play against you next time. Yep. And it's like all oh, these are the three things I got pulled by in the friendly session. Yeah. Not letting that happen if it's all. Yeah. There's a weird kind of advantage to having lost the last friendly yep. session where like you're the one with all the fresh things in mind about what you want to change and they're like coasting. You know. They're excited. They're like, oh, I'm winning. That's what I am. Depends how hungry the person is to beat. I think like if you win a friendly session, but you haven't yet beat it in the tournament, you want to win. It's not as much of an advantage, yeah. just because like you're like, all right, I won the friendlies. I have to put it all together in tournament. But I think when you're just like not thinking about it very much, it's like a much bigger advantage to the guy who just lost. Yeah, especially when it's like the better player yeah. losing the friendly session to the worst player. It's yep, like, yep. If they win, they're just gonna be like, yep, still got it. <laughs> Greedy grab. Yeah, I'm trying to catch him with the forward air. I was watching KJH lab uh, laser on shield and then catching a full up with forward air. Like, okay. Like, like short up forward air. And, like, oh, like, oh, so like, like a input. Just so like it can't get shield grabbed, it just like hovers above. It was like approaching, yeah. Like, that's really cool. It was, yeah, I don't know whether it's actually good, but. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot of KJH stuff, but like, yeah. You know, some of it is. Yeah, I mean. It was working in spots where Nair doesn't work. Like, 
So maybe that's what Kai is trying to do. Kai, also the kind of guy to have very specific setups in mind yep. and like look for very niche things. Yep. Yeah, Kai will hit you to like random shield pokes and just like random sequences like you just don't think about. Kai just like an idea man. Whatever like his idea is, he will like he'll make it work and he'll just put like a lot of effort in and it will just come out of nowhere. Like, like, yeah. I haven't seen any other Falcon in Australia do this, but Kai did it. <laughs> yeah, and all these ideas are completely inscrutable to yeah. outside observers. Yeah, Duffy kind of getting a little shit on. He's just getting completely shut out. I feel like FD, he's just losing the neutral so heavily, yep. and I haven't seen any big FD punishes, you know? Yep. I think FD is a really shaky stage, especially like if you lose confidence early, especially versus Falco, because Fal like, I know, Falco eats you a lot, like, in both spacing matchups, you just get eaten alive, you're not confident you your punish, where in like, something like Dreamland, or like, even a Pokemon or something, you sort of can get stability, you can use the platforms, you can like, do some recruiting bears, but on like, FD, it's just who blows each other up. Yeah, and if Kai's committed to like, lasering a lot, then having platforms to get around that could be really good, especially if you're not power chilling well, like, Oh, M saw the good question in chat actually. How did people ASDI down without down smashing? It's your you hold C stick down while you're in an action where you can't down smash. So like dash or float in my case. Or wave dash. Yeah, or wave dash, like anything like that, you you can hold down when you're in action or like hold C stick down when you're in action and you can't actually down smash. Dash is like the most obvious one, I think. Yep. And then wave dash you can just like hold physically down with the the stick. Yeah. Wave Dash, I used to, uh, when I was like trying to force Zed Power Shield for like yep. one of these sessions, <laughs> I would always do that in Wave Dash. I remember that session. I remember that session just because like I remember one of the, when you got the Light Shield and you got like the true punish or it was the five nairs that popped the shield, <laughs> you were just spamming roll. Yeah, you can, you can always hold down while you're Wave Dashing. You can, you can do it with the Control Stick or you can do it with the C Stick, either or. Or both if you're feeling a little spicy. This combo is kind of crazy. It is. I'm falling up there, but uh, it's got that much up in it. I love Falco's up there, man. Ooh, the weak air down air. That's it. Pretty big DI from both of them. I reckon that's the end of the set, and I'll have to play Cat. I might have to play Tish think, or Benji. Yeah, whoever won that. Alright, peace out, chat. I'm gonna be back on comms in a sec, but one, uh, I just gotta take care of some business.
Alright, folks, I just got back. What is the score? If you're in chat, please let me know. We got McLeod and McCatherine on stream. I imagine this is game two. And that McLeod won the first one. That's my guess. Alright, how's the audio, folks? Let me know. Audio is good, nice. That's good. So yeah, this is this a uh, game two, folks? Is that what I'm? Uh, is that what I'm putting down? Sound effects down a bit. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. How's that? I just touched it a little bit, folks. Let me know if that is, uh, if that fares a bit better. Is that tight? Yeah, Sam's. Thank you, brother. Um, so yeah, this is this is game two, right, folks? Like, I'm not I'm not wrong about that, am I? Okay. No, I think I heard McLeod say that it was game one. Yeah, I don't know what to say about the peach the peach matchup guys. Just just like quietly. 
I'll get that out the way. I, I don't know what to say about the Peach matchup, you know? What what is there to say? They're gonna pull some turnips, they're gonna do some trading, like these are things that we, we all know and love about this matchup. Um, some of us might like it, some of us some of us might not like it. Alright, so McLeod. Yeah. Did you say that was game one, Connor? Okay, hype. Thank you. Very hype. Um, off stream as well, folks, we have um uh, we've got Nick and Tish playing, we have Musket and Caleb playing, and the rest of us are chilling. Alright, now we're going to FOD. This is... I, I get the feeling we're going to see a lot more swinging on this stage, just a bit more swinging. Oh, no way, we get the Beam Sword, but it's already gone. Just savage. There's only so many times I can listen to the peach turnip throw sound effects before I go a bit cuckoo. Just a bit, a bit cuckoo. Okay. Ah. Some behind us, but there's no soap in there. If you want soap, there is uh, on level four. If you go to the elevator, level four, there's some in front of you. But we do have sanitizer just on the thing over there. Yeah, yeah, the sanitizer on the bench, like, as you come back from the toilets. Alright, so Nick coming up to report that he that he breathes through Tish Lord. So that means me and Nick are going to be playing Winner Semis uh, next. Oh. See, this is still kind of like, I don't know, I feel like this is somewhat of a tight battle regardless. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell if Catherine has the stuff to take this. Ugh. McLeod just brutal. Ooh. Let's Catherine back on. But Catherine with no edge guard. I mean, the attempt was made, but... Oh. That just killed. That's fucked up. And these turnips are just barely missing too. I want Catherine to have a more competitive fight, that's for sure. There you go, Catherine. Cleans it up with the Nair. How are we going in chat? How's the audio? Like, I, I've been adjusting it slowly, but I think uh, we're in a good spot now. But McLeod with the 2-0 lead right now. It's looking pretty good for him. Oh, we're going back to FOD too. Oh, oh, McLeod starting so strong. No jump there for Catherine. Um, and we might have we might have a Nicholas joining me. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Pop your mic down a bit, brother. There you go. Now I can hear you. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Yeah. I can hear myself too. Yay. Dude, the sound effects are booming in this headset. Yeah, I'm gonna turn them down a teeny bit. Every time a shine hit. Hang on. What if I do? What if I do that? Yeah. How's that, folks? The sounds are still all right. That sounds fine to me. Before it reminded me of uh, Button Smash in that TV. Oh my god, I don't remember that actually. <laughs> Dude. I literally don't remember that. The that was so TV. long ago. Yeah. Which TV? Like the stage TV? Yeah. Oh. It was fucked. Man, I think about that tournament like quite a lot, but I, that's like one thing I don't remember. Yeah, I guess uh, it's different when you're on stage and you're like getting blasted by the like boss timber sound. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna forget that. Top eight, actually. That entire event was just such a yeah. bit of a shit show. Yeah, well, I remember you got caught at the event for like hours after everything finished, right? Oh, it was like I was streaming PM, and then. 
Gerard's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm like, all right, I got it streamed for the end. And then, um, and then my laptop fucked up anyway. <laughs> and then like no one was there with me. I'm like, oh, crazy. I, I got a bus at home somehow. Yeah, that's the PN experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's Scoots Pilgrim there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Scoots. <laughs> He was my number one fan that event. <laughs> Dude, that guy, yeah, what a legend. One of the original legendary stream monsters. Oh, uh, yeah. KB Kaiser. You know, I talk to Lagrange CL like nearly every day. That's not Anders. That's yeah, something. it is. Oh, it is Anders? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, they're, um. The Twitch name now is Agro Sheik. Agro Sheik, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love Anders. Redox, what's up? Is the audio alright now, by the way? Like, the game sounds not too booming. And you can hear our crisp voices fine. Anders might be the, have the best general knowledge of anyone I've ever seen. He's a very learned man, yeah. actually. Alright, well... Good play? Yeah, we're up, actually. Fuck yeah. Peace. Give me a sec, Caleb. Uh, you played Muscat, correct? Oh my god, I can hear you. I know. Clearly and perfectly. It's sick. <coughs> you, I'm assuming this? Am I yes. correct? Alright, cool. Hey now, he's taking games occasionally. That's why, that's yeah. why I asked. Yeah, yeah, good. You know what? I, you, I yeah, have, you have... <laughs> I care about the scene. I care, care about the health. Alright, let's have a look. Um, Caleb, you'll have the winner of Catherine and Benji, and Tish, you'll have the winner of Copper <laughs> Sons. You will have the winner of Coffee Rex and Lemons. Oh, Calf Benji, and then most assuming Calf wins that. Calf Caleb. Yep. They haven't played in a bit, and. That'll be good. Kayla, uh, Calf looked a bit shaken after my set. Oh, no. Well, you know, she'll bring it back, I'm sure. Sometimes she gets mad and brings it back, sometimes she gets sad and sad, does yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, let's bring OBS back up. We have Nick versus Kai. Dude, would it really be this game if you weren't? Like mad or sad about your performance, like thirty percent of the time at least. I feel like thirty percent is definitely underplaying it. Look, we, you know. But like my, my my point was more that when 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 Kath gets sad yeah, about yeah, her yeah. gameplay, it's uh she just gets owned. <laughs> uh, I think I have to swap this. Save. Uh, do you know the button to switch the scene? Surely you know the uh, button to switch the scene. Uh, yeah, should have the, ha the handy dandy. Oh, F1? Oh, oh wow. I know. Kai's so smart. He, he really is. One day I'll be as smart as Kai. Alright. I have to say, these things are good. <laughs> I, I have my, my 20 hand warmers from uh, Vic that I had never used. Oh, wow. Because yeah, the, yeah. the venue was actually warm, and I've been, I've just, like, you're, in between games, you're just like. I'm always so lazy about that. I just, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'll rub my hands together. <laughs> it's basically this. Yeah, I definitely fun. got here cold and I was like, well, I've got 10 packs of these for some reason. So <laughs> let's give them a whirl, eh? <laughs> and oh yeah, they're pretty good. Then you're not the warmest. But that's part of being a competitor. It's hard for Nick and Kai. This Nick playing a lot recently, playing fairly well recently. Yeah. Kai not. also playing a lot recently. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see how Kai goes. I think he, Kai generally doesn't win these, but there's Has usually Kai, like. When was the last time Kai won this? Oh, it's been a bit, but to be fair, it's not really against. It's really yeah, not. It's not so that's not as much of a slide you. against Kai as it is uh, against us, in it? Yeah. I think in a bit describes most of us. Sarah Rocket, Sarah Rockets, yeah, Rockets yeah. against Nick. I've well, never done it. I'd like to do it. Maybe time. We'll find out. I have to get through this boy. Well, Flood true. Muscat. Flood Muscat. Didn't see a tweet last night. Huh? No, no, I... I just, well, I'm, I'm not going to go into that now, but no, you'll be... Yeah, um, sure. Okay, well, we'll uh, get find out at dinner. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. It's looking pretty normal. Actually, to be fair, Kai normally pretty hot out of the yeah. gates in these matchups. That's true. Yeah, the first one 
There's definitely been a lot of um, sets in the past where it's like Kai wins game one, and then goes back to Battlefield, wins yep. game two, and then wins like the game three one. Yeah, that's like that's how I remember their sets. It's like Kai, wow, I'm like wow, Kai's playing really well. Oh, Kai's playing pretty well this game two as well. Oh yes, dude. Yeah, yeah. and his mental's gone. And that's actually funny. That's a lot, a lot of the sets between you and Kai, especially the online sets. I'd be like, wow, it's even, and he's like, <laughs> it's just like, well, even it go. yeah. It's like, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Kai recently. I just, I just say hi, who, who's up at 10.30 and Kai's like, me, actually. Hell I'm yeah. Like, Alright. I've uh, played Kai very occasionally, but uh, I haven't gotten that. I haven't got a chance to play him in uh, bracket even, maybe. So. Yeah, he's up here. Ooh, he's... I don't know. I've fallen into a weird alternate universe where I've played uh, mostly Falco and Sheik. Oh, oh, which, oh, uh, I was hoping Davin would come out here today, but... Unlucky. Hopefully, well, we'll see him uh, Phantom for sure. Yeah. True, true. Hopefully, we can get a Wednesday before Phantom, maybe. Surely. I believe. Oh. oh no. I played against. Uh, yeah, I, I finally got Moth practice today. I played against like one Moth in the last three weeks. So. Uh, I don't who, know, we'll who, see. Who, who was lucky person to get this? Oh, Rupert. Rupert said oh, yes. Nice. I was like, it was like, hi. I was like, hi, Moth practice, please. And, was like, yeah. and I got DM'd by Kismet. And I was like, I'm not saying no to this. Yeah. Take it again. And Kai's keeping up. This yeah, this very looks nice. good. Oh, the down air. Yeah, I was like, the down air's not going to work again. No. He did the down air because it's 50-50. Yeah, kind yeah, of. You just, yeah, you just hope they like hold in to like yeah. get the like second down air. Yeah. Or you do the bear and yeah. they hold out for the bear. That's a shame. Well, they do the arms tech and then they get air smashed. Yep. Yeah, I definitely think ledge dashing into something also could be really good in those spots. Ooh. Rare. It just. That's unfortunate. Yes, Nick. Nick, uh, Amps. Nick is moving to Melbourne, I think, in end of July or something? Something like that. Something like that. Wow, oh, early August. Oh, no. This is... that, the game was looking great. That that <laughs> very common occurrence in these sets, I would say. Kai doing a little... Oh, gee. You know, a little ingest, but inside I... Yeah. I would we'll see. Be, I, 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 would be, I would be thinking that. I'd be like, God, I'm I hate this goddamn character. We'll see. I don't know. Kai... I don't know. I look at a lot of Kai sets as Kai needing to hold it together. <laughs> Where I was like, no, watching oh, Kai vs. Duck. Oh, Kai definitely did not win that game. That was Kai 1 in Spirit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's right, go. Oh, that... Okay. Pretty... Uh... Ooh, I like that shine back here. Oh, I get stuck. Get stuck. Bad down air. Gets grabbed. See how far Nick can take this. At least a 50. Ooh, uh, gets stuck out of attack though. Oh, they lead us some very... It's a very ballsy uh, offstage place. Yeah, it is. It's like, Cut. Yeah, you got it. Oh, I was going to say, like, the risk reward is like... I don't think it gets guaranteed. Like, it's not like if he gets it down, I'm pretty sure Master has another, like, up B again. Like, yep. you have to play one more mix up to, like, get the stock, whereas... Falco gets, like, jutted off stage after getting reversal, and it's like... Yep. Kind of dead. Something I have definitely noticed um, recently with Kai playing more is, uh, I don't know, get a lot more confident in his movement, a lot more confident in just like the little movement mix-ups off flat and just like the, his spacing just a bit better. It's like a lot of things that, like Kai would go for, but he's just like a little bit better at um, placing it now. It's like coming up a bit pretty big this one. Ooh, good. misses that. So like before winning up beat, he did a higher beat. Um, oh, like, Nick mistimed it, the F smash, yep. but part of what helped, like, mistime that was because he was expecting Kai to fast fall yep. after the up B, and he just didn't fast fall, and he just, like, yeah, it's just a nice little, like, little mix up in the um, recovery. Got him out of it. I'd say it's really nice, like, when I, I watch Kai, because he makes, like, Falco look like Falco at the ledge instead of when I play everyone else, and they make Falco look like Peach at the ledge. They, they have. They have lasers, and they have side B, and they have their for ledge, and that is... Normally, half the time they don't even have side B, they just have yeah. high double laser, and dare from ledge. That's thing, side B, and, like, and especially in a high pressure situation, it's, it's pretty bad. hard to like punish it. Like, MC, in like, last dog situations, <laughs> would yep. just throw that out every time. And, oh like, my, wait, oh my god, Bun, Bun, <laughs> the All Finite had a 603 raid. Welcome to South Australian oh my, local wow. cheese league. Wow. Ready to see some more high stakes Australian melee. We have Nick, we have Kai, we have myself, Mustard, we have McLeod. We do. We have a pretty stacked bracket. 
pretty stacked 10 man bracket, yeah. I will say. The most stacked 10 man bracket you'll see in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello Bye. everyone coming in. Damn. Kai looking competitive. Looking, keeping up. We'll yeah, see. this is usually the game where. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it goes wrong game three. Nice, but. Oh, oh, it's so no, scary. This looks like it. That was He's really well placed oh, up B, but doesn't Nick finish it. Okay. Nick looking a little sloppy. A little like, bit off. A little bit so off far. these up B's, a little bit off these edge guards. Kai really could pull something together. Thank you. Uh. We have a new score. We do. Oh no, how am I going to Kai? That's the best part. When you're putting the scores, I can just look you at the other look screen. At, you can look at the other screen. We have so many screens. This is... Ooh, really nice uh, spacing. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You'll have Caleb Cat. Do we want to stream that? Uh, we actually, we have too many games to stream. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, you just play just Caleb like, off stream, yeah. yeah, oh my god. What happened in Orb? Actually, I kind of want to watch it back later. I don't yeah, know if yeah. I want to be spoiled. All I want to know is, did Ostek get defended? Did, he? <laughs> did we survive? I, I, no, I was still looking at that screen. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, uh, Orb got raided um, by Moki. Oh, that's sick. You know, that's really sick. That's really nice. Congrats to those guys. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to watch it tonight, but you know what? We got this banger tournament in South Australia. Exactly. Called Cheese League. Every month. Every third Sunday of every month, mm -hmm. you get to watch. Who won that? Uh, no. and, yeah. I feel like we would have said something if it was Kai, but I didn't want to. Didn't want to jinx it. Mm -hmm. It was looking well, and uh, Nick just kind of pulled ahead one stock, and it was a stock lead. And I don't know. Nick looking shaky. I think Kai. If Kai like recognizes Nick looking shaky, he just keeps himself together. Has a bit of confidence going through this game. I don't see why you can do it. Nick looking shaky is uh, making me very happy. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how's the Falcon getting out? He just dares out of the corner, gets out. Nice. Oh, uh, gets a little stuck on the platform, gets up tilted, but Nick dropping the punish. Ooh, I love that wave dash back. Catches the fair too and punishes it. Kai looking good this set. He really? Ca oh. Uh, and then, then this happens. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but the eye of that S smash made it look brutal. Okay, was now, a this, is the, of this is the spot punch. that every space he just like gets two or three stock yep. because of like Marv's at like 50, 60 it's overextended the corner yeah you do a dumb overextend to the corner now you two stocks down and it just Kai honestly holding the edge of that corner really yep. well and playing the mix ups in not giving not giving safe for free that was an really? excellent CC off that okay that was damn Kai, honestly, the difference is just finishing the edge guards. Mm. I think, like, earlier, just grabbing the ledge and oh, not finishing it. Ooh, that could be it, though. No. Really nice weak there. Good job, Kai. Okay, I was trying to see how he was going to, like, wait out the invincibility. Oh. Doesn't Nick. get punished, too. <laughs> I, I watched Nick get stuck in movement, and then I instantly checked the player count. Oh, yeah. And the guy got the, got the yep. frame and the shake. Yep, yep. We'll see. He, uh, honestly, even Nick, a little bit shaky, he's still an incredibly good player. Yes. My think a little bit off is still, <laughs> still, muscle. still very, very difficult. Oh, excellent defensive. Oh, uh, there's been a lot of fans this game. Yeah, I will see, say Kai's probably one of the best, if not the best, fans in Australia, covering like crushing the shield and covering the rollback. Because like so many times I'll be either like shine wave dash back or like shine aerial back cover the thing and like uh, like fair, um f tilting the shield covering the roll. He's almost always covering the roll in. Like it's very rare he'll just like commit onto the shield. Yeah, no, for sure. He he loves that roll. It's really good. It's really hard to be in the corner against Falco. Yeah, honestly. Okay. Well, I am a nerd lax. What do you want from me? Do you want me to lie to the people? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to... <laughs> uh, I, I'm just giving you what I have. Guy, a stock up. I'm playing this percent game really wise. He using really, the CCs. really has. He's done so well with the push pull in the corner yep. as well. He just hasn't, like... He hasn't overextended. He's just kind of baited out. Like, slightly sketchy option for Nick out of the corner. Just... Nick, getting comfortable just staying in the corner, like waiting and doing a swing though. We'll see if um, Kai's able to adapt back. Oh no, that was Nick. Ooh, surely, surely not happy about that one, but really good spacing in the RB coming back. Ooh. 
It's my F smash, to be honest, which is some quite under. Oh, no. Honestly, like, th this ledge play is just like, oh. Oh, Whoa. it covers it. Hold on. Little bit panicky by Nick. Little. But. Kaiser wins again. Now we have, of course, you know, the FD, the FD games. Not quite as brutal for Falco, but. <laughs> Get him, Nick. Look, Don't listen to what I have to say. Is, listen know, to your heart. Nick yelling at commentary <laughs> and Kai doing jumping jacks. These are like. That is, I didn't even is, think. This is actually just them both to a T after a game. <laughs> That's just flawless Look. SA co like content right there. <laughs> Was looking for that just like that very late down there. SA Nick zoned in. SA Nick, I don't know, I think sometimes, like myself, like like I think everyone goes through it where you, you sort of get like mad you're, when you're almost losing to someone and like you're playing really sloppy, you're just like in this like mad space, but like as soon as you drop the game, you sort of just like, alright, you, you just sort of the so occasionally you just dump it. Yep. Where you're just like, alright, I'm, I'm just winning. I'm just like, I'm just too annoyed at myself to be annoyed at myself. Interesting, okay, in my mind it was almost like, okay, the band-aid's off. Like, you go into thinking, yeah. oh god, am I going to lose this game? And then, like, you've lost, and you're like, well, band-aid's off. Yeah, in that sort of sense, like, where yeah. you're just like, alright, band-aid's off, I'm just going to win now. Yeah. So, it's, I, I find it really, really hard. It, like, and the, the problem is, when you're, when you're up against, like, a better player, you have to have that extra layer of adaption to adapt back after they change the tempo after you win. Yep. That's something that's really, really hard to do, and like changing the tempo like that is something Nick's really good at. Yes. Oh, it I really found out. For a loop. <laughs> Let's go, Lax. Beating Goody at all finite tonight, apparently. Ooh, really? Sick. I'm gonna watch that back. The grudge match? Oh, my. The grudge match. Yeah, this is. Not out of the realm of possibility, but it's it's, uh, it, it's, it's pretty out of the it's realm of possibility. <laughs> I'd like to see two stocks. Can I show me two stocks? The classic fitness coaching style. Like, can I see? Can, <laughs> can I see I two see, stocks? Can I see? All right, finish your set. All right, all right. Show me five reds. All right, Kai, I want to see this stock. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to see a stock, a singular stock. Oh, that was nice. One, one, one. <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, well, well, he would have got that stock if it keep if it kept going. I wonder is it actually. Are you actually? No, I need. I was like, I need to actually add because that's really funny. Yep. There we All go. Right, well, you add this. Actually, add. can you put the score in? Oh yeah. Well. Well done, SA Nicholas. Oh. <laughs> it's meant to hype him up. Uh. Um, where am I? Winner of Catherine Caleb plays Kai, and winner of the other set plays loser of this set. <sighs> Alrighty. Wait, did Goody lose to Lax? That's big. That means a lot for Australian Smash. An FLD Muscat and uh, McLeod. Muscat's Twitter. Muscat SSBM. Like that. Does anyone know Muscat Oz? Okay. Are you guys making a serious answer? Muscat Oz. For now. And uh, what's McLeod's? Is it McLeodian? Is that right or is that his Twitch? What's McLeod's? I trust you, right? 
You know what? I'll look it up myself. I'll look it up my damn self. McLeod Oz. I'm so sick of Oz Twitter. McLeod Oz. Correct. Okay, we got McLeod Oz. We got Muscat. Oz. Recently sponsored by uh, the uh, the next great esports org. Um, Blood esports. Of course. Alright, let's see how we're looking. Hit the save button. Okay, perfect. No contest. Hello. I don't have anyone to play, right? Oh shit! The boys came through with the raid, did they? The boys. The boys. What's up, 506 folks? viewers? Oh yeah, yeah. God. All it was like 1k because of Moki, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, everyone? Welcome to South Australia. Um, so, yeah, we got the the biggest match <laughs> until Grand Finals right now. We got McLeod versus M Oscat. Yep. Um, the second and third seed of the tournament. And uh, they had a great rivalry over the years. Uh, Muscat recently, and in the past, I guess, having the edge. Cloud mm. though, terrifying player, always on the grind, always hungry. To oh take yeah. You down. Well, I think the big thing here right now is like, Cloud's kind of been, um, I don't know, he's been having mixed success with his uh, current Smashbox bindings. I uh, I know for a fact that yeah, he's just not been hitting the the pedge dashes as much as he'd like to be. No, that should be a hundred percent. It should be. I mean, but <laughs> if he's cheating, he you know like it should be like. He should get it every time, right? That's just how it works, eh? Yeah, just hit the macro. <laughs> yeah, man, that's just... Yeah, we have, like, buttons that just input a series of inputs because... No, that's not real. That's true, Chibi. I think it... My theory is that the integrity of the game died when McLeod learned Edge Dash. Dude, uh, the integrity of the game died a long ass time ago. Some At some point after the initial UCF release, which was the highlight for me of, like, controller... Like, that was the high point. UCS, yes, yeah, no UCS. notches, let me dash back and shield drop, anything else, fuck that. Yeah. But uh, the Goom Wave is really stomping on the decaying corpse <laughs> of the integrity of the game as well. So. Now the fobs. Now yeah, the fobs. Yeah, it's I, fucked. It's all fucked. Dude, honest to God, fobs are broken. Um, but it's it's one of these things right now, right? Where it's like, oh, let's go. Let's go, McLeod. Let's fucking go. No. Um, it's Must yet it rarely misses drill chains. No, he's really good at him, actually. So, lucky from McLeod to get that down smash. Yeah, probably won't see many games. Yeah, so what I was going to say is, like, um, like, the big thing right now is that, like, we basically have to allow everything. It's fucked. Like, we basically have to allow everything because nobody can stop people from modding their normal GameCube controllers in a way that actually, like, gives them, like, fucked up advantages. I mean, that's a dumb argument because then by that logic you should be able to like have macros for like no 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 no, 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 no one can stop you know like okay well like that's not the that's not the whole reason right but what I'm saying is like in terms of just inputting right like it's not like macros are obviously like you know that shit's banned that's like actually taking away from you know playing the game but it's we're in this tricky situation where like like none of the modders are gonna give up their business. Yeah, the problem is the only people with a platform about this shit are the people who financially profit from it. Also. Yeah, yeah, precisely. And like, they, they both like presumably, and I've talked to some of them, like, disagree with the other like camp, you know, controllers, right? Like the Goom Wave doesn't necessarily like the box and vice versa, but it's this like tenuous piece where they both know that they're both fucked if they start a conflict. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I wish um people would like. You know, not talk about this shit without like knowing what they're talking about. Because right now, like, there's so much subjective like arguments that like I'm sick of. Well, and that's the problem though. The only people who know what they're talking about are the fucking modders. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> like, they shouldn't be like they should not have a monopoly on what gets talked about. Yeah. 
But it does rub me the wrong way when people will say like, oh, you know, like these people are getting mad results and they're using digital controllers. Like we should ask some questions there. It's really funny that we spent the first game talking about controllers. This, yeah. is, the, this is the price you actually pay for playing box. Yeah, yeah. You just get orange <laughs> <from the> commentary. <laughs> Oh, back to the match. I, I, yeah. Oh, let's fucking go with that! Go with the call out there. Godly. Godly call out there. The crowd looking hot. Uh, didn't look so hot at BAM, I will say. So. Ah, uh, yeah. Good to see McLeod bouncing back. Probably has some new plans, new things he wants to try against uh, Moscow. Look, I don't know. I think um, half of top six and top four being SA is a kind of a win in its own way at BAM. Yeah. Personally. I think that's, like, kind of sick, because, you know, I don't know, like, we've been part of SA for, like, ages now, like, the scene here, and it's kind of nice to see some, like, top-end gamers nowadays. I mean, we've been recognized as, like, a very strong region for a pretty long time. Yeah, now we have. Oh, and clean wave shine conversion. Doesn't quite get the SDI away from the drill there. There we go, now we can see. That's better for my shrimp posture. <laughs> And also not getting the SCIs on many of the up airs. Uh, I'm not sure whether you need two inputs with Peach. Uh, a lot of characters you do need two inputs. But with the box, you can get two inputs. <laughs> yeah, just bring, hit them with the blink. Just blink it, yeah. Anyway, we just need to update UCF to be much more inclusive of everything. That's all That's all I'm saying. I agree. Just, just make UCF do all the work. I am. Oh, here we go. The musket special. Let's go. And I feel like you need to be hitting SDI away on those. Just mm. to make it difficult. Because the mm. thing is, he could have got to the ledge in like four shines. And especially if you do an SDI like two inputs away and then two inputs in, it makes it really tough for them because they'll often overrun uh, Peach. Yeah. And then you can mix up going behind as well. For all the all the melee kids at home, you can go into SDI practice in uh, on the bunch. Uh, wave Shine SDI and pick Peach and try to get two inputs. It's doable on Conch, so no reason why you should be doing it. Oh, uh, scary. Goes for the Nair, really wise. I thought it was going to go for a down air, but the Nair just ends the stock and not the best guy for Muscat. And that's so scary, drilling Peach's shield, because you know they're just going to jump and do some float option and like. Yeah, so McLeod's got like the sub floats on lock. Um, and has for a while now. Oh, yeah. just up there. It's crazy. Peach really wants to be hit with a shine when she's uh, floating in the air. Mm. Musket also kind of reaching too far into the cookie jar there by just constantly jabbing Peach. Yeah, you got to know they're going to hold down, especially after the first jab. Yeah, you don't get greedy with this. Oh, oh, that's big. And that's a trade. Dragon Ball Z. Except they both died. I mean, rip, but... Yeah. And McLeod with the grimy angel platform hold. <laughs> I hate that shit. I feel like when both people die at the same time, there should be mutual agreement that you both just get the fuck off the platform. <laughs> otherwise, they're like, otherwise you both just wait there. Should we mo Oh, no jump. Uh, he's got it back. And McLeod has absolutely clutched up Ooh. on Muscat. No, that's it. Ooh, GG. Well played. Nice. Oh, I can update it, yeah. What, what you got for me? 2-1? 3-1. That's right. Nice. 4-5. Catherine, 3-1 over Caleb in the bracket. For those of you following along at home. Are we going to get a Tish set on stream? The answer is... Maybe. Tish a legend. I love I Tish love is... Tish. Uh, I always confuse Tish with TYSM, which is unfair <laughs> to Tish. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> See, Tish is a really nice person. Showed me what to do with my snapback capacitor module. He did good. He's a clutch player. He's got that punish game on log. And with Ooh. a punish game, you can do anything. Ooh. I'm assuming that was an attempted in there. Yeah, musket just a little sloppy. Just getting some awkward controller turnarounds. Oh, no jump, no jump on Peach. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, and if there's one player in, a, in South Australia you can't afford to get sloppy against, it's probably the Cloud. Oh, nice. Sick shine. What a beast. Lemons is not Lemon Pod, no. Lemon. No, no. Lemons is the original. Yeah. Oh! Nah, too far below the stage. Musket. He's got a bit of work to do here after losing that stuff. What do you think of Stadium, by the way? Instead of uh, Yosh. 
I like stadium. I think stadium's the best stage. Yep. Oh no, the soft now gets uh, basically made McLeod Ooh, land. the jump, and that should be it because of the down end on the net. Didn't get out there fast enough. A bit conservative with some of his positioning there. Went a bit too far into the stage and then wasn't ready. I can't believe McLeod just called him out like that on the platform tech chase. And McLeod's covering everything with these turnips. Alright, good pressure. Uh -oh. Can he clean it up? Yeah, he wants to get Ooh, burned there. How, how exactly. the fuck did that happen? Getting burned there is good. It's scary to go for the invincible fire stall, especially with the shine. You add so many inputs, it's complicated so much. Oh, and what a call out. That was actually clutch as hell by Moscow yeah. because, like, I don't know, it really seemed like McLeod was poised to take that stock. But now we have a. Uh, a situation that's pretty favorable for Musket to like run away with this and just, you know, get a bit of like extra damage for his troubles. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say Musket needs to play really annoying here, but he just charges him with an up smash and yeah. the cloud is never gonna move forward without a hitbox. 90% of the time if he's moving towards you, he's got that nair out and you can't afford to trade with it. Mm. Oh. I love what McCloud's doing as well. Uh, in neutral, he'll do it's kinda like a slapdash um bear and then like immediately dash attack it's so obnoxious oh Ooh, and another great call catches the float away yeah, sundowns is perth guys we know we know we know sunny he's, must be doing a great job by the way of recognizing when he's overshot wave shines oh here we go that's for the down smash the sour spot though yeah, yeah i mean does the same thing though gets speech off stage and uh kind that's of it trap in here Let's go. He's a greedy down smash from McLeod, but he's got the counter tick now. So we'll probably see either FD or Fountain, depending on how comfortable McLeod is with winning the neutral and getting a grab. Is my camera not level? Flood the stars. Hashtag flood the stars. Trending on Twitter right now. <laughs> Let's go. All right, FD. Ah, <laughs> uh, musket already off. To a monster start. Yeah, that's Fox's equivalent to the chain grab on the stage. Yeah, this stage double edged sword for Peach in this matchup. Um, and Musket also like no slouch and can get the uh, the turnaround infinite with the shines as well. But you know, McLeod's got to be pretty ready to SDI at this point, surely. Nice. Yeah, it's got opportunity. Waits Reacts to the. Oh, doesn't get the trade. I don't know about trading stocks like that. Well, he tried to trade with the Firefox. Yeah, of course, but like that's that's livable. I think that's a pretty good edge guard flow job. He just missed it. If you if you catch the startup of their movement, then you'll pretty much always get the trade. That's right. So you just kind of did it a bit too early. Yeah, like he spaced it too well in quotation marks. So like he hit with the strong hitbox of the like yep. the nice. like, edge of it. Two. Ooh. He's out of it twice. Up smashing <laughs> coming though. And the McLeod SDI is very good. <laughs> I wonder why that is. I, I got called out once for saying S his SDI was good when he, his like SDI was not good throughout the set, and he was like, "That's the one I hit, bro." <laughs> but uh, hitting two in a row there, so no, that was nice. obviously it's improved. All right, we're gonna see dash attack soon, or the near. There's a dash attack. Ooh, oh, great, great, great guy! What the hell? Right, we got a we got a reset situation He's here. Try to trade with the down air, but oh, very low there, yeah. too low. I don't know about that, Chief. <laughs> and McLeod could have just grabbed ledge there too. When you go that low as Fox, it's like you're kind of uh, writing your own death sentence. If there's one thing that Peaches hate though, it's grabbing the ledge. Yeah, 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 we all know it. Oh, oh, I guess oh, the people know. I... Yeah. Ooh, it's not gonna kill. <sighs> He's floating. And that's not going to kill either. Oh, I was expecting another parasol, but uh, McLeod makes it back to stage. Oh, great catch with the drill. Catches the roll in. Damn. This is still pretty doable for Musket, oh, though. Oh, runs in with a oh. kind of ill-advised drill, but he's just kind of forcing it. It makes it work. Musket's going crazy. Yeah, he's just doing a lot of moves right now. and that's No kill. way. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm no pretty sure way. it's killing. <laughs> yeah, McLeod held in for that, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the last time was a down smash, and he was like, well, I'm not a kill percent, he's going to down smash me again. <laughs> so that's the, that down smash working across multiple uh, stops. Sick recovery, by the way. Musket is so good versus Peach. Ooh, that, that could have been an up tilt just for a risky drill. Not the best reaction there. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, musket cooking. He's looking real strong. He's and probably going to take it this time. shark for Peach. It's so hard to shark Peach. Misses the SDI. It's still hard to get it. You can kind of mash it with blocks, but you. There it is. If Musket times it at an unusual timing, the uh, McLeod's not. The thing about SDI on up air is up, uh, I feel like when you do a directional DI on the up throw, it gives you way less windows to hit the up air, so it's more predictable what time you're going to go for. Yes. You go straight up. Then it's like, when I'm gonna hit you? It's it's up to you know Musket's discretion. You know, and we got a game five. This is huge. Oh, again, Musket with a monster start. And he's trying to go with 20xx on him right now with that uh, reverse wave shine attempt. Musket's playing just okay. annoying. Really, kind of lights out. Oh, don't need to get hit by that. But uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> that kills. That's gross. <laughs> that is yucky. <laughs> he didn't even di hard in. What was that, dog? That's fucked up. <laughs> and Zaringer in the chat, the owner of Flood Esports, is going crazy. Musket is going nuts right now. He's kind of got a habit on when, uh, sorry, a read on when McLeod's going to shield when he's grabbable. Another up smash is uh, surely coming out soon. And he's just playing so well outside McLeod's ranges. He's not going to hit by any dash attacks. No bullshit, you know? Well, I'm mean, out of there. Oh, and that's so unfortunate. This oh, is the uh, uh, upbeat sweet spot. Two a stocks crumble. up. Two stocks up on FD. <laughs> this is cute, kind of huge. This is the kind of stage you can always bring it back, though. It's just Fox can be so annoying to kill at high percent. Like if you still have to get a grab on Fox. Oh, okay, gets the nice. knockdown. Good tech chase. Oh, extra pummel there. I think we're gonna see a nair. Uh, oh, I thought he was gonna drill him, but goes to the ledge instead. Whoo! Good on Musket holding down even at 138, but uh, lands with a pretty sloppy back air and uh, another stock from McLeod. He's still in this. I still see McLeod taking a stock here, but he has to change the way he's playing to do that. I don't know, does he? He just needs a grab. Well, oh, not getting a chain grab, but he's getting a big hit. Yeah, that's it. Bad DI on the nair. Yeah, he died all the way in with the uh, on the down air, presumably trying to get behind and hit the reverse hit of the nair, which is pretty next level if it worked. And a lot of the musket's momentum has kind of disappeared. Oh, that's scary. His momentum stuck with him there. Oh, amazing whiff punish on the forward air. That's no lag on that move, Kai. So I've heard. <laughs> so I've heard. Oh, watch out! Oh, this is scary. And that's an awkward position to down air from. That, you got to take the ledge there. There you go. Nice. Then Even game. Gammy, and we got lost stock. One grab for uh, McLeod could do it. It's fucking game five, bro. And this is so scary. He's so close to the boss zone. Oh. Okay, really ill-advised there, and he's kind of floundering right now. Is that going to do it? Great. Holy yeah, he's shit. down and in. Holy Gets all the way shit. out of there. That was fucked. Okay. Right. Oh, and that's gonna do oh it. Misses god. the DI and well played by Muscat. Oh my god. That was fucked up. Complete. That was actually a fucked up set. And Muscat with a reverse 3-0. That's gotta hurt for McLeod. That was hype. That was actually hype. Doing, breaking the uh, the sponsor curse so far. Mm. Um, do we have a result for Coffee Rex and Lemons? Yo, Coffee Rex, what was your score versus Lemons? Huh? I won. Oh. 3-0 over lemons, and then 3-2 over Tish. Thank you. Coffee Rex on kind of a tear in the loser's bracket right now. <laughs> uh, what was it? 3-2 three three over Tish. 3-2, thank you. Alright. Um, so, so loser's quarters? And then winner's finals, then loser's mm -hmm. semis? Mm -hmm. So me and Kath. Right. So we're playing all these on stream? All right, so we got Kaiser versus Catherine on stream. This has always been a little bit of a nervy matchup for Kai. Uh, he's always won, but it's always been like you could get down smash, you could get edge guard, you know. Peach kind of scary. And Catherine, an experienced player, plays with one of the best practice partners in SA, and uh, always gets results. Okay, so I'll set up the stream, I guess. Um, Catherine. I'm not sure whether Catherine has social media. Catherine on the daisy. Oh, yeah. And we 
got Kaiser on the Red Falco. Coffee Rex joining me on the mic for uh Hi Nick. How What's you up? Say hi to all four hundred and seventy one viewers. Oh my god, why did Orb right? Yeah, Bundun rated. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure how actively watching these people are. But uh, uh, they're around. Usually not. Do you know how many subs I've collected by leaving my computer on all night? Subs. Yeah, yeah, well, you you get gifted subs. Oh, you yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You don't mean people have subbed oh, no, 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 I was I, like, that doesn't work. No, no, no. <laughs> just subbing to the <laughs> guy who's had his stream running for 12 hours. Well, I'll, just, I'll, just have, I'll just have a big banner saying, please sub. And I'll leave the yeah. stream running. And we are. I got a Kadoran sub gifted to oh. me, and I posted in the chat, thank you. And he was like, SA Nick. We all know what SA stands for, and did like a suggestive nod. And I was like, what are you Wait, talking about? What, 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 is it, what does it stand for? <laughs> and he was like, I'm not going to say it. I can't say it on stream, but we know what it stands for. And I was like, bro, <laughs> I, I don't get it at all. I mean, you're the one most recently in, in the States. When, did, did people chuckle when they heard your name? Or? No. No, I say, okay. I can see chat. <laughs> exactly, oh. Goody. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's missing a, Goody's missing a dodging, star. Dodging, dodging the senses. No, yeah, I mean... Death uh, Australia. Mm. As if we're uh, New Zealanders. South African. Oh, my, my apologies. Yeah, but also like Sith, like Star Wars. Oh, what I, was going for. I see. Yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna follow up on that one. How you doing? You still I'm in? doing well. I am still in. I'm still in. Sorry, I've, I've been kicked off commentary now. Are you still in? Uh, you yeah, are. You're yeah, gonna yeah, play McLeod next. Yeah. That's huge. I do not want to play. Come, a, a jewel of the the box. I've already I've already played lemons. Right. Yeah. It's bullshit, right? Those box players. It's uh, not fair. Not my box. The other two. <laughs> the other two are bullshit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, this is real. This is real. Okay. Oh, crazy di getting the, the uh, crouch on that down smash and trading with it, and they're getting the shine. I know nothing about this matchup. I know it's hard for, for Falco, but I don't know how hard it, that's just like Falco main propaganda. You know, I did look up uh, SA, like what it stands for, oh, and yeah. the worst one I found in the top five, was, it was like South Africa, South Australia, like whatever, and it was like substance abuse, and I was like, that's pretty mild. Substance abuse, <laughs> Nicholas. That's kind of a badass. <laughs> It's not true, oh. but... <laughs> oh. And Cass with a great wave dash back down smash. That's one of the things that makes me saddest about Peach, is you can't... You can't whiff... A lot of characters, they, 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 might, they might let you get away with it. Yeah? Yeah, Peach? That's even behind the shield, right? Or like, behind the character? You know. no, matter, no matter what the game state is, yeah. Peach is probably either throwing a turnip or throwing a hitbox out, or pulling a turnip. Like... Moving forward, I'm throwing out an air. Moving backwards, I'm throwing out a down smash. Sometimes, I don't know if he does this to you because you're good, but a cloud likes to float at head height and just kind of inch toward me, like the Terminator, and I don't know what to do about it. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Uh, so he'll come down with the float cancel with air and I'll get hit by it. Yeah, the thing is you can't stay on the ground and up tilt it, because you'll at best oh. trade. Yeah, I get on. Yeah. You gotta like, I don't know. You gotta make him scared of something. I like run under up air or like Yeah, I've been trying to call it out like the moment air. he goes up, I've been trying to call it out yeah. with the run over. Yeah. Oh and Kai oh, on the ropes right dead. now doesn't get the angle. That's a gettable angle, but it is a gettable uh, angle. Much easier on box <laughs> or doom wave. Uh, I I believe that one not even gettable on box at all. I, I think it might have been. It was it wasn't like the most I'm, I'm, it's 30 to 60 degrees, man. 30 to 60 degrees. Oh really? Yeah, that's that's the uh, Maybe it's fair. <laughs> Maybe it's fair after all. Oh, and this is scary for Kai. Catherine, go down oh, there. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, let's Absolutely. do it. No, she saved him. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a weird edge guard. Do you saved know what him the twice. Story behind the yawn tag is. Is there a story there? Yeah, Kai's girlfriend, I believe. He's uh, named Yawn. That's her Twitter, I think. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. I see. Angel yawns. I would say. I don't nice. know. Well, maybe he's just sleepy. Salvation Army Nick, according to Barringer. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> oh no, this man is charitable. Yeah. Can't say that on stream. I used to find Kath a lot harder than McLeod, because I feel like she respected me way less. Uh, <laughs> yeah, McLeod will give you your space. Yeah, I used to get dash attacked into the corner by Kath, and I get owned by it. Yeah. Um, yeah, McLeod, not so much. Sexy as Nick. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, you got a fan. One Bentley SSB. Uh, hello, Lax. Oh, and really potentially ill advised lasers from the ledge, but uh, gets away with it. And he's just kind of bulldozing Captain right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Musket. That's my bad. Um, did I do that? Yeah, you did. That's crazy. Yeah. Insane, I would say. It's because, uh, I mean, this is probably some reason. That isn't fucked up. <laughs> that was a ballsy F tilt that paid off big. Going for the up air. I think Nair would have potentially covered more and been. I think there's so much, so much oh. value to being immediately scary with your uh, loop selection in this game. Like, maybe up air is a better punish, but if you get a Nair and they're off stage, it's like shit, shit, shit. Mm. And Catherine playing amazing right now. Oh. Potentially leveled up at BAM. Uh, probably played a lot, to be honest. Where are the BAM t shirt She's been playing online again. Oh, uh, that's great, actually. Uh, great for me, because I finally got someone to play against who is a Peach. Hell yeah. yeah. What kind of hours does she normally play? She degenerate like, like 3 us? 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Like it's uh, Yeah, Caleb wants to DM me. He's like, it was like 2.30. It was like, Kath wants to play, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> nice. I'm down. <laughs> Can Clyde close this out? No. That weak hit would not do it. So, Kath currently contending with the fact that Peach on the ledge above 100? Uh, not a lot of options. Not the best character above the ledge at 100. Unless you can hedge dash. <laughs> Even then, it's a little dubious. You have yeah. to do the parasol off. He gets the butt grab. And uh, this is scary. It doesn't get the shield poke. Ooh, great dash second the Oh, there you go. There's your there. Yeah. Your immediate man. Oh, and this is scary for Kai. Cass is just oh. swinging with the down smash. Side B stall. Side B stall. Wait for Randall. Oh, you got a side B stall there. Rip. <laughs> you, gain, you can gain a tiny bit of height with a side B stall. Can you? Yeah, a little tiny bit. As long as you do smash input on the side B. Wait, can, does that mean you can climb with it? Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Is it viable on non Yoshi stage? It's like pretty frame perfect. Well, non found it because it's that weird lip shape. Yeah. I think it's only Yoshi's, really. Right. Fascinating. Either way, you gotta do it so you can. Uh... Wait for Rando, yeah. <laughs> Mac D did it on Fountain. Yeah, but Mac D probably had a jump also. What do you think about this stage and this matchup? Because I know Kai yeah. loves this stage. <laughs> Kai, yeah, Kai's a hitbox guy. Like that. His down edge is clean beat his dash attack. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, really? I don't think so, no. Okay. It was the reverse hit, which is kind of big. Yeah. And the angle that like, Kai was like fading away, potentially, but usually that won't happen. He's right. dash attack is big. Yeah, that problem I have. I try Ooh. to throw in place and I get owned by the big dash attack. That dash attack doesn't work, I think, but uh... But we've still got more essays uh, coming in chat. On swag as well. <laughs> hey Lax, how was fight night today? Did he win? I don't know. I, th I think he'd be goody, but uh... That'd, that'd be big. I'm a big Lax fan. But that's only because someone said something about Queensland beating goody. <laughs> Love that. Lax is good now. Uh... uh yeah. yeah. I haven't seen you stream recently. I mean, it's been like three days. Yeah. I didn't stream yesterday because I was moving. I didn't stream the day before because I was... Oh, you've moved out already? No, but I didn't move that shit. I'm like, okay, yeah. Didn't stream today because evac. I didn't come in uh, the yeah, cheese, yeah. cheese League. I was, it was beginner beat down. Usually right. I try not to stream my beginner beat down zone. Right. Because AI like, ended up commentating because one of the commentators uh, was a little bit nervous on the mic. I oh, say. I have no idea how they got on the mic. I mean, we, yeah. We've been trying to work it out, because uh, you can't get into that channel without permissions, and they got in, and we don't know how. I mean, it's not, no biggie. Uh, oh, no, it was, fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm more curious as to how it happened. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know, I just kind of miss the homie stream. You and uh, Kismet just have the nice, pleasant hangout stream where you you plug your melee. Yeah, I miss Kismet stream. Me actually. too, yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be back. I'll probably stream either tomorrow or maybe tonight. Probably not tonight, to be honest. Although my house is empty apart from me, so I can yell and scream till the, you know, till the song rises. Nice. Ooh, and Kai getting hard punished when he's laying stuff the ledge. It's weird, he doesn't do it against me. I feel like maybe it's a respect issue, you know? Right. Maybe I mean, he has an incredible ledge dash. It's yeah, he's one of the best at it. Should be using it. Hell yeah, kids! It just don't don't tune in on the occasion that I'm tilted and playing Falco online, because that'll happen. I I have never seen someone win so many games in a row and get so angry at it. That's one essay, Nickel. Oh, it's horse shit, man. <laughs> I just want to play good. Yeah. No, I understand. That. I mean, it is lame. You gotta you gotta be cool on the mic, on the main stream. Uh, she's been doing that to me and getting me every time. Kai does not bite. Kizza has never had an argument with me about Tilt. What do you mean? Well, I he's just saying in chat. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That killed the Oh 70. my god. Gr great choice, honestly. Uh, Tass probably tries to nair out, fearing nothing, and just gets burned. That's rough. I suppose Falco doesn't have any uh, astounding counter picks left. He's got a Pokemon. Yeah, but it's still rough. You want to win those. Cass is not the best on FD either, so it's potentially a blessing in disguise. Right. Uh, his chain grabs are a bit mid. My cloud was dropping them earlier against me, but he seemed good against Muscle. They're, they're not that easy. He did drop no, no, I know, I know. Well. I mean, they are. You should get them, right? Like, we're competitive gamers. Yep. You should be getting a grab follow off. But, like, it happens. We all miss that shit. It's easy. It's alright. I'm always reminded of the other uh, quest thing where he's, you know, you absolutely have to have that if you're playing the Yeah. Um, well, there's like a lot of things in the game that it's like there's no reason not to be good at this. It's right. like just do it. There's like yeah. random DI bots or like specific DI bots and you can just grind it out. If it's easily solo practical, right? Oh. Yeah. Pokemon is good, Lax, but I feel like Kai likes top flat a lot. So for this specific player matchup, it's like, eh, pretty good. The wonderful page in there out of all pressure. Oh, that was such a choice. Kath has the fastest grab into F3. Um, yeah, I've never prepped the DI yet. CC down smash. It's always a risk to CC against Falco because you don't know if they're going to dare, but uh, and that racked up quickly from that 90%. Has he got it? No. Yeah, if you DI away on the up air, it feels super late. Right. But that, oh, I thought I was going to do it. Oh, that's so risky. Oh, I love the platform tech chase down smash. Yeah, it doesn't quite get out of there after the jab. Potentially needed to like mash air dodge or something, but might have been fucked. Had to be I uh, survival. Yeah, and Kai's kind of once again bulldozing. Yeah, yeah he's kind of running around. I mean, Cap is uh, dash dancing in the corner. How's she getting out? I mean, if Kai, when Kai really wants to win, he's not going to just throw himself into the corner, you know? Yeah. Like, he's a really patient player when he's, like, locked in. When he's done his jumping jacks. Does he only do them when he loses games? Oh, like... No, he did it after he won again. Okay. Yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good to get your steps in, get your exercise, you know? Uh, yeah, of course. That guy's gonna clean it out. Cast with a mountain to freaking climb, Gobby. How do I turn the volume down on this? You just deal with it. Okay. You turn the volume down in your brain. Sure. We'll roll with it. I'm looking forward to the tinnitus I'm gonna get from listening to this Falco back here. Oh, now it's gonna do it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh no, Such a great I'll choice. Drive. Okay. I was, come on, Gobby, you can do that. I knew it was a great choice. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I lack your uh, <laughs> your experience and keen judgment yeah. with respect to melee. That's true. But I don't think exercise makes your body healthy. Like, if I, I mean, it kind of does. It can increase your reaction time. But that's more like, you know, in the hours after, like, a gym session or something. As opposed to, like, jumping up and down as a setup. Like, whenever Mech does his push-ups, I feel like it ties him out more than anything. <laughs> 
but it gets him subs and viewers. Yeah, but when he does it in tournament, it's like... Yeah. But if he didn't do it in tournament, he would be a flake. Be a posing on his Catherine stream. Catherine has taken so. big percent damage from Magnifying Glass there. Oh, Page dash time. Go yeah, Page dash. Page dash? Page that? Oh. <laughs> How that? incredible would it be if she just showed up one day with the patch dash? <laughs> oh, that's it. And now I'm up to play a set I'm not going to win. Love that. Uh, thank well you. played, Kai. Well played, Catherine, honestly. Uh, two close games on Forge, but uh, loses 3 1 to Kai. Okay, and now we've got Coffee Rex. And McLeod, fresh off a defeat to uh, Muscat. Well played, Kai. Thank you, thank you. Kath is hype. Kath is hype. Just a gamer, you know, just shows up in games. Didn't say that much about it. I love showing up in gaming. This is not winner semi, this is losers. Waters. Waters. So wait, what type of box is Lemons playing melee on? I don't know. Just using his like FGC box? Possibly, ah, yeah. That's fucked. That's actually fucking crazy. Right, we got Coffee Rex McLeod. I think this is heavily favored for McLeod, but Coffee Rex plays a little lame. Uh, maybe he gets a, <laughs> a bit lame? of a dash dance happening, and oh. then uh, then you know. The world is his I just don't think he hits hard enough to not get reversals and instantly die. True. True. Alright. And uh, if Coffee Rex can hear me from the stage, uh, I apologize for saying that. <laughs> Coffee Rex is getting better there. No, oh, we were playing on Slippy like a couple nights ago, and I was just like, damn. Um, like, I was thinking like this very particular sentence in my head when I was playing, and because he was like aliased as dethrone god, yeah. and I'm just like, you know, who is this person? I'm not sure what fox it is. Um, and when I was playing them, I was just like, I can't tell if this person's like really good or is like <laughs> coffee race. <right? laughs> well, <laughs> not quite what I want to say. It's like I can't, I couldn't tell like what skill level the fox was. If that yeah. made sense. Like it was very like. I had a hard time quite like pinpointing who it was in terms of like how they play and like the things that they knew about like how to play versus Falco. You know what I get that about? When I play Kismet online, I'm like, this dude's cracked, why am I false up here? <laughs> <laughs> like, this dude's so cracked. <laughs> That's a fucking amazing comparison actually. That is actually fucking amazing. Guys, how's the audio? Do the game or the uh, the microphones need to go up or down? Let me know. Um, so yeah, here we are. Dreamland for the first game. Peach is a tank in this matchup. She's scary. She'll slowly float towards you. And Coffee, kind of a dash dance heavy player who can get dashed into the corner. Yeah. I like how Coffee's playing this right now. Yeah. Big lame. Back air. Top platform. Look at him go. So I think McLeod's that's even. That's literally even the percent. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, yeah, what I was going to say is, I think what McLeod's going to be looking for here is to land out a hit stun and then just gonna, yep, boom, like that. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, just land out a hit stun and then hit him with a down smash. And that's how he's going to take this. Um, yeah. Is that? Surely that's not Coffee Rex's uh, Twitter. I don't know. I don't think it is. Coffee Rex 12? I think it, no, is. it is. No, it is just Coffee Rex. There, All right, there, is, there is no other Coffee Rex on Twitter. That's true. I thought it was T-Rex, actually. That's his name, not his handle. Right. Does that make sense? Oof. Huge. Oh, this is even. Let's Big go. wave shine up smash. Let's go. I mean, long way to go in the set. Oh, yeah. But um, a good start and a very good showing so far. And I like the way... Coffee Rex is moving his fingers. This dude, look at these, dude, look at these cameras. Dashes. Look at these cameras, dude. Look at these gamers on their fucking digital controllers, actually. Yeah, <laughs> this is hype. Their characters are flying around while they like peacefully tip tap on their uh, keyboards. I love this. I actually love what I'm seeing on the playing games. 
It's crazy how good wave dashing out of like wave shine is with blocks. Oh, it's gorgeous, right? Nice. It's like, damn, this is so clean. And uh, Coffee Rack saying, come at me, bro. I know you got the lead, but uh. Well, this is the right move, IMO, because it's like. Uh, every time, like, Coffee Rex is, like, gone in, McLeod's got to, like, land out a hit stun and reverse. Like, reverse way out of it. Oof! Great choice of the up air. I was actually talking to him about that option before. He was like, he just floats a head height against me, and, uh, oh my, that nearly killed. Needed more lasers. Yeah, li literally needed more lasers. Oh, such a risky back air. Oh. He's been caught up. He's a bit scared. He's kind of like hail marrying with these wall approaches. Uh, I love Adelaide, dude. The land of the neutral. <laughs> oh, let's go. Even game. Yeah, these guys can play neutral all day. But a legendary player. Oh, and that's caught his jump. And that's oh, goes the ledge. Good that was man. nuts. Coffee loves the ledge. He loves that angle. I think the uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, One, rolling after the uh... two. <laughs> Tech chase. Oh. It's with the Armada combo. That's uh, grab That's ledge, edge guard. That is actually death. This is actually a gnarly game one. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Down throw. Right. Tech chase. Oh, oh all right. That was kind of crazy going for that fair. Yeah, he was so close to the ledge that uh, the cloud didn't have time to like set up for a real bad chase. Oh, oh, coffee rex! Oh my god. That was an up smash, bro. That was you find them with an up smash on the top platform and kill them moment. Yeah, I mean you can't find all the kills and you can't no. go for all of them either. Uh... I don't. I uh, does up smash kill here? He's really obviously fishing for an up smash. Does it, does it kill here though? He really wants it. He's uh, McCloud's just gonna like dash away. Oh, and there it is. Gets the drill though. And that's an easy kill confirm for a player of Coffee's caliber. You know, I love that gameplay actually, where it's. Oh, wait, he's alive. He is living. Um, yeah, I, I was gonna say, like, I love the gameplay where one person's at the up smash percent and um, then threatens the up smash, but then, like, goes for a confirm instead. Yeah, way better. Yeah. The Coffee Rex is playing so good right now. Coffee Rex is kind of cracked. <laughs> Okay, a bit, of, right now. a bit of slot getting back to the center. Oh, but. you hate to see a tournament when it tr flies too close to the sun with that ledge dash. You can wait an extra frame, it's CRT. True. Oh my god, back to neutral. Man, this Shooting is the gun. scary for McLeod. McLeod being forced to approach and every time... It oh. oh! I was gonna say, every time he doesn't get the approach, Coffee's slowly racking up laser damage, but he catches him with a nair. Pretty bad full hop from Coffee there. He um he full hopped and then like fell off the platform and then double jumped. Yeah. Sorry, that was like his death sentence. Just got a bit stuck, you know. It happens. Ready? That's a common situation too. Be careful. All right, doesn't take too much damage there. Ma what Whoa. the what the <laughs> fuck was that? Badass. That's fucked up. He's out of there. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> that was so disgusting. Well, that should have been a drop down back air, I think, maybe. I don't it know. doesn't matter. He cleans it up. It does not matter. Oh, Coffee is getting kind of beaten up right now. He doesn't have the space to run that he did on Dreamland, so he's going to have to go for a completely new game plan. Like, he doesn't have the top platform escape option. No. I mean, the big thing here is just, like, even the side platform heights. Oh, wow. That's a crazy choice. Don't know about it there. Yeah, even just, like, the side platform heights is just a, a little bit better for Peach to approach. Um, we, because, like, Coffee Rex was just retreating to those side platforms a lot in the last yeah. game. And also, like, camping out a game can really take a lot out of you mentally. So, like, you often see, like, a really quick second game after you lose the first game. Yes. Like that. I think, um... Oh, no. I think some people can do that, though. It's just that, like, you have to be so clean. Yeah. You actually have to be really, really clean. Oh, well, Coffee Rex is still in this game, though. He's choosing to give McLeod all the stage, though. I think, yeah, Stadium is a bit of a, a center control oriented kind of stage because, like, when you're in that, like, side platform zone, it's Whoa, scary. It's so scary because, like, uh, full hop callouts getting back to center are so common and so threatening. Yeah, absolutely. And like you, you'll see McLeod actually go for that. Like, 
If he traps him in the corner, expect him to like full hop uh, near him on the side platform recovery back to the center. And yeah, Cuffy getting caught once again going to the corner with the lasers. I don't think, on Stadium, I don't think you can just run to the corner and shoot lasers. I think that's so risky. Yeah, if you can force the Peach to commit to like a, a read, like a full hop or something, and then like punish them for that. Going straight back to Stadium again, which is fair. Like, I think it's a fine game plan to play, because if you're like, I always fall up out of the corner, and then you catch them trying to catch you with a fall up up there, then you're in a good spot. Alright, Coffee Rex just not reacting quick enough to McLeod crouching there. The punish game is getting kind of crazy. Did, you, did McLeod just pop off there? I, I, I didn't see that. Someone in chat. I like get, a fist bump. Get, a, get a clip here. Alright, even game. And he's, he's got on the head scratch. The tempo is animated. The tempo's picked up a lot in this game three, actually. Yeah, have we seen Coffee also get a kill in the first 30 seconds? Oh, man, that's the that's the shit that drives me crazy with uh, digital and modded control. It's just getting hit and then like instantly dashing to the other side of the screen. Yeah, <laughs> that shit like I hate it. It uh, happens sometimes. It happens. With, uh, do it does happen sometimes, but it's like on digital and modded controllers, there's no risk to like getting pulled on a tilt. Yeah, there's no risk, so you just like get get to run. Oh, Ooh. he lives. Grabs ledge. That's well it! played coffee with the clutch fire stall. I love the get up attack there too. And I kinda want coffee to lose this so I can play, but uh. <laughs> yeah, you've been sitting here been for waiting. a minute. Ooh. I mean, you might get your wish. Um, yeah. Despite how well Coffee Rex is playing, it just doesn't seem to be enough for the fifth place BAM champion. Uh -oh. Wait, no, did he? Didn't he beat Nangs? I can't remember. The Nangs one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. F. Nang's uh, a legend. Yeah, Ruben's so good. Samus getting fourth? Samus Falcon. Yeah, still counts. Yeah, the Falcon kind of did a lot of heavy lifting. Oh, we got a stretch from Brad. I will not be stretching. We'll, we'll stretch in the break. I'm, I'm staying scrunched. <laughs> uh, Nang's is not here today, kids. <laughs> To answer your question. Yeah, I didn't really beat anyone notable with Samus, but uh... uh that's it. 30, but I don't think the score told the entire story of that set. Alright, peace out. And here we have Nick in Winners Finals coming up. Now this is a, a set for the ages. We have Nick versus... Muscat in Winners Finals. Something that we have seen time and time again. These guys are hardcore gamers. And really, I don't know who's got the upper hand here. Must get fresh off of getting third at BAM. Looking to hopefully make a name for himself. Welcome. I love <laughs> the SA cycle, man. Uh, I love the SA cycle. Yeah, Muzcat Nick. Muz. Oh, he should change Muzcat. his name to Muzcat. Muzcat. And then he can just like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's gonna do that, but you know what? Can I'd we, love to see it. Can we see some Muzcat in chat? Some some Muzcat. Does anyone have a Ziz emote on Twitch? I want a fucking Ziz emote on Twitch. Yeah. That's actually that would actually. Oh my god! So many people would sub. Oh, what the hell? Okay, like, no, no, no one no one has the rights to to uh to Ziz, man. He's, he, he's public domain. Yeah, he's the people. <laughs> he is public domain. Can't copyright the people. Um well, this one should be interesting, kind of. How'd you feel about that last set, by the way, my friend? Um Honestly not bad. It's probably the best set I've played since being on Vox. This Muscat's gone a lot better and for months I haven't gotten better. So, the the know, set go. with Coffee Rex you just played. Oh, that one. I don't know. I was just talking with him. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that set. That was okay. a set. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Sure. He, he likes talking during sets, so I'm yeah, just like, does. you know what? We'll yeah, <laughs> I like that, though. It's, it's good fun. Let's have a little back and forth. Yeah. So I enjoy it. I love my Coffee Rex sets. Well. Hey, he'll be scary one day, and then, then I won't be able to do that. He was scary anymore. in that set. What do you mean? Was he? I don't know. All right. Okay, maybe not scary, but he was gaming. He was gaming a little bit. 
McLeod's always been the what villain. What do you mean? He's always been the villain. What was the what was the game you played before Melee? Call of Duty? I played League. I thought you competed in the FPS. Nah, I was League. Um, I was FPS all the way back in like early high school right, console never days. Never no, mind. I was a League gamer. But anyway, screw that game. This is two heroes on this. Whoa! Game. Whoa! What is the melee that's happening right now? Honestly, unless Muscat's done a lot of work in math, I don't think he has. Uh, this is unlikely. But Nick was looking a little bit shaky earlier, and Muscat was playing pretty clean towards the end of my set. So we'll see. Uh, a couple of F smashes is gonna spell the end for Muscat so far. Oh, name's the wrong way around. I got it, I got it. Alright, yeah, you're your beast. So fast. FLD oh, Muscat. Can around. we. Flood the musket. Flood the musket. Up the musket. Oh! The musket's getting flooded right now. Musket's firmly on the ground. No stars being reached. What does flood the stars even mean? Nothing. It's amazing. How does the that work? The worst slogan of all time. You, I don't know. How does that work? It, it. It doesn't. Like, unless. Like, okay, is, is space, like, the, the <laughs> water. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no! Hang no, on. you have to. You, it's about them taking water from the ground to the stars, and then I guess. So you're gonna, you're gonna, them? you're gonna like breaking dreams. So you're gonna like flood. So when you say flood the stars, you're quite literally destroying a sun. Yeah. You're trying to extinguish yeah. the sun. So, which I don't think is possible. I, I think the end goal of uh, flood is just to destroy the planet and the solar system. Oh, okay, so, so, okay, Goody is actually putting some comprehension in the chat here. So, Flood is the, Flooding is, represents the organization itself, and, <laughs> and the, the stars, stars are esports, and they're trying to flood esports, <laughs> essentially, is what. Is oh, what okay, now, that, that is actually making more sense in my head now. Yeah, so. It's not good, but it makes, I guess, if that's what they meant. I'd be shocked if that's what they meant. I mean, look, all I'm saying is, well, oh my god. Oh my god, it's happening. Okay. He's been playing a lot of Sheik, and it's good. Like, legitimately, legitimately good. Um, not, to beat a, not to beat a dead horse, but... We all know the last time I saw Musket versus a Marth as Sheik. <laughs> so true. I think... We'll see how far he's come since then. But I was playing Musket, and I'm like, this is... Like, not far off the oven, at least in the Peach matchup. Yeah, I uh, think look. he's just genuinely competent versus Floydish with Sheik at this point. It's improved a lot. We'll see, though. Uh, NSW versus SA Crew Battle Bam... Bam 8 yeah. is the set, guys. New South Wales versus SA Crew Battle Bam 8. That is the set. You can uh, you can look that one up on YouTube for a very entertaining match between our hero Muska and uh, the villain Cal. I'm a little surprised Nick didn't go puff once um, Muska chose Dreamland and Sheep. You get to you pick character and then stage right away. Uh, you do stage okay in melee. Yeah, it's stage first. You pick stage first. Yeah, okay. And Dreamland. Then, so. And then. So loser picks character first. Oh yeah, so he couldn't, right? So yeah, what would have happened is um Muscat said Dreamland, Nick said okay. I'm and gonna, so going and math. And yeah. Then Muscat's like, oh okay, I'm going shoot. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um Honestly, fair enough. I think I actually think uh, Musket can get a game here with Sheik. Yeah, like I think so as well. the power of Dreamland Sheik is uh, not to be understated. Yeah. Also, yeah, Nick, known Sheik hater, not known to be particularly great in the matchup, but definitely no slash by himself anyway. I don't think kind of the Sheik hating state. Yeah, I've been coming around and I really like playing Sheik now. I've been playing a lot of Musket Sheik. That's how I know. Um, but yeah, he's been playing it more versus me, and it's he's gen genuinely a lot better than it was. So we'll see. I don't think it's quite Nick's level, but Nick's level is a lot lower when, it, when he's playing a sheep. True. True. No, uh, no, we're not a falcon hater. It's just that we don't have many good falcons. That's the problem. Oh, I hate falcon. I, I don't, I don't, do, are we fox haters? No, nah, I think I'm the only. I think, I'm the only, I think I'm the only fox hater here. I just hate the spaces. I hate Falco the most, and then Fox is a close-up. Everyone else is fine. Musket not looking too bad, but Nick is 
really starting to extend his lead here. It was looking close the first two stocks, kind of hit for hit, but... Musco just really doesn't have a... Like, the proper math on a strange game. Ooh, that was a nice little bait there. And, like, Nick, Nick just... Nick does hit cheek hard enough to where if you don't know, like, the decent math flow chance and some decent edge guards, you're probably just gonna lose. Wow. Nick up a full stock now. This is hard. It's yeah. hard for Musket. I don't know if um, he's going to switch or if he's going to continue to force this um, Dreamland Sheik counter pick. Which I think it could work if he goes another game. It's just uh, right now he's got a bit of work to do. Yep. This is looking a bit better. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 Catherine has just realized what's happening on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait, no way! That's not that's not Fox. That's oh, not Jack! Oh, careful! All right, Nick swinging, musket, dinging. Musket being very clear about him, uh, his style representing more flow rats compared to our our other sheep Devox. Really, uh, just, we should get musket and flow rats on the team, same team. Both oh yeah, get flood, flood flow rats. Flood does, flow rats? It? It's got a nice ring to it. It does. Flood rats. Flood rats. Flood the rats. Ooh. There's actually a movie about that called Flush Away. Yeah, honestly, good. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, Muscat's cheek, like, can do it. I think it's less the execution and more just doesn't have the punish of the edge guards. Oh, the early big. This is big. Watch out. Musket has a chance here, but great slide off. Nice! That was a really good plot play, and then the landing dash attack was not. Nick also known dash attack hater from Cheek. He's like, wow, it covers everything. I move back, it covers me moving back. What else does it cover? I don't know. Uh oh, watch out. Okay, one more chance here from. No, that's it, actually. That's it. Never mind. Nice. Yeah. Not Two, too bad. One. Not too bad, actually. We'll see. Kill Unfortunately for Muscat, um, Muscat, I don't think the uh, the character warfare can go on forever. Nick's path will very likely extinguish the poor Sheik. Chomp15, thank you for following. Nick, a math believer. Going back to Dreamland. We'll see. Ready? Oh, that should have been a grab. I think, yeah, that's like one of the big things. There was a lot of these CC like down smashes. Probably should be just CC grabs and then like getting the full follow up. Oh, it's a good sequence. There's a lot of just like raw fares to cover like text on platform that are like either late or just like hard reads that will get punished if like he's on the wrong side. I think that's a really big problem because like when you're playing Sheik and tech chasing on platforms, like even if you're like you guess wrong or you react wrong, you don't want to get hit for it. No way, bro. Yeah, that be just powering through with the invincibility. Oh, great. Ledge grab. This should be a kill. Yeah. Yeah, Musket still not quite uh, getting... Yeah, getting what he wants to happen here with this sheet kind of Yeah, more down smash, please, actually. Nice. And... Oh, Ow. that was that was really crazy. Actually. Crazy DR. Yeah, that was super. Wispy ridiculous. came through too. Oh, oh. oh I expected a bear poking the shield there. Yeah, I had the idea, but he was like, Nick's not, Nick's coming out. Yeah. Like, oh no, he doesn't. And then he was still like, oh, that was just way too greedy. Muscat with a little tired head nod, kind of accepting. Oh, feeding away. Yeah. We'll see. He is two down. Oh, that sucks, man. Did you see that fed? Sorry, yeah, that F tilt just yeah, like completely whiffing. The up throw for four percent into get bad. Not the best punish. That was a good fair back. A little bit greedy on the full extension forward. It's hard versus you. Oh, that was uh, wow. a little greedy, but you know what? Out. You know what? I, I, th I actually rate that recovery. I thought he was going to ledge. Yeah, I did too. But like Nick was too far to cover it. But all right, it uh, Musket's starting to protect himself a bit better now. Ooh, that dash attack was really good, catching the Musket coming down. Can't right. quite finish it. That was great awareness by Nick to get back to center like that. Ah, no. Musket in shambles, but that reverse fair shield drop nice. gonna actually take really the stock. Really nice refresh there, actually. 
All right. Yeah. Oh my god. Just oh, chases. Just chases the end of the earth. Really nice. Oh, it gets 4% of that. Oh. All right, Musket actually bringing this back a bit. I don't know what that nail was going to hit, but Musket had an idea. Okay. Okay. If Musket can keep trading nice. here, I see this uh, solid, working out all right for him. A solid four glint ledge dash, and you know what? Sometimes that's enough. Oh, that was a nice one. That was maybe a six. All right. Musket's opportunity is now. Oh, just kills. Yeah, damn. He's got invincibility, though. Sheik with invincibility, really, really scary. Martha on the ledge. Doesn't do anything Ooh, with it, though. good patience. Good fade in. This is actually a kill if he cleans it up, but... Damn, that, that sucks. Oh, careful. Now he's he's really starting to force the issue with his aerials, but yeah. Nick is just oh, too ready. Oh, that slice, really good timing, and that's it. Good. Uh, bad luck, guys. Solid free by Nick. Bad luck, guys. All right, Kai. Kill we got a date, do we? We do. She. All right. What? Mm, oh no, I got to pick up Becca. Soz. All right. Here we go, folks. Luther's shimmies. Fuck Flood. <laughs> flood the dead. Oh, uh, mus Musket is protesting in the background. <laughs> flood by nuts, exactly. <laughs> oh, it's the battle of the people who knocked me out. Kai's there in the cloud. Yeah. They've already set it up. These guys know how to run a stream. Uh, neither of them have a, have a sponsor. It's kind of disappointing. If only there was some sort of flood for them. Oh, we're, we're back into this matchup under nothing about. Hell yeah, all burritos. <laughs> Doesn't count if they don't pay you, Roy. I'm sponsored by myself on Smash GG. Me too, man. Pay, pay for all my entry, pay for my flights, it's a pretty good deal. I don't know, I mean, it's in my sponsor slot. It's my name again. Awesome. Thank you. He means that. He's genuine. I've seen this a lot, this matchup. Um, There's been a lot of Peach Falker. Peach. Oh, I mean, I mean these two specifically. Um, yeah, this is a classic, actually. Yeah. Two great players. Uh, going to miss so much of competing in SA. Even though I rarely show up, it just like reminds me of the good old days, you know? You come like twice a year. Yeah, but I used to come every week. Before. Yeah. You gotta know. I'm coming most weeks now. I feel like this one is like either what? Kai clutches it out close 3 2. Or McLeod kind of smashes him in a quick 3-0. Yeah, McLeod's kind of on a warpath after the last uh, musket. To, to flood musket. To flood musket. Yeah. All right. Big match. Kai, gonna try to play patient, but yeah. also not relinquish the pressure. McLeod, gonna try to get some big hits in. What I've seen of this is often in his patience, Kai will find ways to kill himself. Uh, Sometimes, In yeah. the long games. He used to be way more notorious for it. Right. I've seen, I've seen him go down 0-2 and then like clutch game after game, in particular on FD, and then just kind of at the very end, SD3 stocks or whatever, and it's like, okay. Yeah. Oh. oh. Eating two hits of one down smash into three hits of another. That's, That's five hits. That's five hits. Yeah. Quick mass. Thank you. He is Quick very mass. dead. Even. Good he's not going to win. Calm. Come on, skip. I don't know, I hear he's the best. But there's like... Suck my son there. And duck. It's true. In the cloud. Good he did take a set of duck at a recent local. 
That's cool. Uh, yeah, he reset grands and then duck one. I, actually, there are worse things in the world than video winning calm. Oh, really? Yeah, like Name so some. Suck winning calm. <laughs> That's the main <laughs> one. I just don't want suck to win. No shade against suck, I like the guy, but uh, the scene needs some different yeah, people. Ah, he's winning too much, huh? Yeah. If only someone was there to stop him at that. Well, yeah, Davin, unfortunately, couldn't make it. Yeah, down. that's true. He was uh, holding down the fort yeah. at Danny's. And I was some good corner pressure, but he's making these stocks last for like 150, oh. and uh, McLeod is cleaning them up quickly, as you're about to see, but you're not about to see it. Right? Oh. McLeod's getting a bit stuck with his turn of play. Doesn't even get the spike laser, very sad. Yeah, people only ever talk about losing a lax, they never talk about... Goody, I literally talked about you taking a set off duck last week. Didn't, wasn't it like a reset though, and then duck just... Yeah, he did. I mean, that doesn't count. Doesn't it? No one counts fucking bracket resets. Give me a break. Oh, okay. Sorry, Goody, you did not take a set off duck last week. I mean, it's true. At, uh, at BAM, someone was like, they took a set off amps, and it was like, wait, when? And they told them the time, I was like, no, weeklies don't count, so... <laughs> the only tournaments that are on don't count. Yep. <laughs> weeklies don't count. I mean, online... No, this is, this is online. Sorry, this is offline. Not yeah, online offline weekly. definitely does count. That's what I thought. I don't think online counts too much. Maybe if it's like a Smash Bros and people are drunk or something. <laughs> like, that's one I can kind of forgive. I yep. think most sets count, you know? No one's playing if they're not trying to win. This is uh, kind of close. Yeah. We should be talking about it. Ty doing a really good oh, job nice. of pressuring McLeod in the corner, and McLeod is just being. Oh, oh the, you know, I was going to say being really patient off, and chill, yeah. but the patience pays off. Ty just whiffs a huge death match. That should have been an air dodge after the oh, uh, down air. Right there. Oh, it's still good. If he air dodged up after the down air, maybe he would have gone dead, actually. <laughs> Oh, did Goody lose the lax? Yeah. Oh no, I know that. We mentioned it before. Yeah. I just want to say it again. Been, people have been talking about it. It's the biggest new news in uh, Australian Melee. Oh wow. Can he close? Yeah, he can close it up. <laughs> I kind of trolling right now, but uh, I guess the kill eventually. Yeah. We lost the game. Oh, Wait, Lex, that's is that true? such oh. an overcommitment with an air against the downsmash. No I hate low percent pitch. Wait, Goody lost to Lax? Apparently that's, so. That's, that's believable. Apparently so, yeah. yeah I would have thought that would happen if they played. I just didn't know they were playing. Oh, I mean, had they played, I would have bet on Lax. <laughs> yeah, you would have made money. Yeah. You wouldn't have made that much money, though, because I think everyone would have been Probably, yeah. <laughs> The odds would have been pretty, you know, stacked. When he when he came oh. back, when he came back, he played Sock on stream and Sock put up bets. And then at the end, he's like, "Wait, someone bet on Lax, and it's always me." <laughs> always bet on Lax. Lax money, baby. Bit of winning? Yeah, no, that's uh, something for the, the three or four people who put money on you to, you know. Do they get some of their money back? Because Goody won a game. Is that no, how that works? Unfortunately not. Oh, no. They lose it all. To the army of black stands, I believe it. Kai missing two ledge dashes this game. You were, the prophecy was true. He did find two different ways to kill himself. It's and, true. Uh, that's fucking brutal. Man, I wish I hit a ledge dash today. Nah, upgraded. <laughs> hit a punish instead. That's bad. Yeah. I wish I hit one of those. <laughs> yeah. But it would have been nice. <laughs> oh. What the man breathe, McLeod? Yeah, leave him alone. He's had enough. Oh, oh. And this goes out there. Kai with not a lot of options from where he was. Oh no. <gasps> he, he put it together. He put it together. Yeah. I did not think end. he would. A lot of, you know, extraneous. Extra movement and then just down airing. But uh, yeah, whatever, whatever gets the job done. What? Four. Is that gonna do? That, that, that's one really? for the golf fans. <laughs> yeah. 
of old Don Beerview in chat. Oh no, apparently Lax is the golf man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Lax. And uh, congratulations to McLeod. And I forgot to update the score. McLeod is actually up to 2 0. Oh, I, th I thought that was the last <laughs> My mistake, chat. Right. For those of you trying to stay informed. Those of you who who are informed, regardless of what's on on screen, you know, I respect that. You can't trust what you see, what you read on the internet. Sometimes you have to form your own opinion. But that's the only place thing. I read things. Goody, I can do you a favor. It depends what it is there. Is he gonna, are you gonna say something rude now? He's gonna say something rude. I can feel can it. You can you floss? floss? I'll do jumping jacks. I can confirm Nick is currently flossing. No, if I win. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. Easy. I, I usually prefer the dab. I mean, you have it as what, a 500k channel point or what or something? Yeah. I am what you would refer to as a dabbing Andy. Oh. You know? I don't think I've ever referred to someone as a dabbing Andy, well, but... You obviously uh, haven't been watching enough streams, but that's... People say that. People have been saying that. I think Bundan might say that, if you got him in the right context. Yeah. But if he said anything about dabbing at me to Bundan, he would say, yeah, next you have a dabbing at me. He would, he yeah. Would say, that's the yeah, first he thing would. he'd say. And that's why we love Bundan. And Kai on his last legs was set. Trying to make something happen on Yoshi's here, but... I mean, he's oh, got options here. Sloppy aerials. He's yeah. not too far down. <laughs> I just feel like that Simpsons episode with the pig is flying and Homer's like, it's still good. And that's yeah. how I feel about like Kai's stock, but it's it's no longer still good. Nah. It's just, it's just a little air bond. <laughs> it's just a little air bond. <laughs> oh, and he's made his way back to stage with the aid of Randall. Oh, the double? Oh, the new one. Unfortunate. I like the idea. That was the only thing that could potentially kill, but uh, I think Kai oh, needs to he's... find like more ambiguous strike yeah. setups that it's not clear which way to the eye. Because McLeod's hit the eye every time. Oh, and it's still not kill either. Even with a bad DI, it has to kill there. Um, so finally getting the benefit out of Yoshi. He's getting that up air kill. He's already found himself under pressure. McLeod's so good at a shield. Yeah, oh. <laughs> That's happened way too many times. You can't ST five times in a set, or four times, or three times, or, you know, and win. How many times can you ST then? I mean, like, twice. Oh, okay. I think that was the one that put him over the limit. Right. He no longer has the right to win this set. Yeah. Exactly. Let's go, Kai. <laughs> Prove him wrong. Hey, yeah, you won. Look, the odds are again. The odds are not ever in his favor. No, I think from the start, the odds have been a bit stacked against Kai. Kai didn't look that strong against Catherine, and uh, McLeod probably a, a, maybe a tier above Catherine. But uh, the SP is definitely not helping. Oh, great choice with the forward air there. And yeah, McLeod doing a great job of sneaking underneath Kai's approaching lanes with dash attack and getting big punnies off of it. You can't really nearly approaching laser Peach, because she will punish you. She's got that burst movement with that stack. I'm slowly bring it back. This is scary. Oh! I like the idea. Sorry, Goody oh, wow. said he hated SA. Thank you. Is Goody posting links for how to become famous and buy stream like by Oh absolutely. Yeah. Among his hatred for SA, he was kind of interspersing those. He was posting his Raid Shadow Legends oh. affiliate link again. I do find it funny how many top smashers do Raid streams. Really? Yeah, because they pay money. Like who? I know Zane did one. That's badass. Yeah. And Kai's still alive in the set. Are we about to see some jumping jacks? Jumping jacks! Or has Kai expended all of his physical energy, and now he's just got the mental energy left. The big brain, which is actually the most energy-intensive oh. organ in the body. Uh, I believe that's true. Especially he's, Kai's body. He's not doing jumping jacks, though. Wait! <laughs> Alright, he's wobbling a little bit off-camera, which we love to see. We do. And McLeod... Is that legal in the Smash Theater? Wobbling a little bit off-camera? No, it's not. Yeah. No matter what circumstance, you, yeah. you don't matter wobble. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Kai. 
Yeah, he was definitely dancing at that 180 BPM or 220 or whatever it is. I think it's 200. I think you literally split the difference. Maybe it's 180 to 220. Oh. There probably is quite a bit of leeway. I uh, yeah. Me facey when McLeod hit his punish. Uh, rage roll face. If you sit next to him and you're a talker like me, he will talk about how much he's not hitting his punish while he plays, and then he beats you anyway. Actually, me facey when McLeod misses, hits his punish is SA Nick Gamer Face. <laughs> I still, I, I probably sub to you, I suppose. I do want that SA Nick Gamer Face. That's a great demo. Yeah. I, re I really want Moth Kiss. Moth Kiss is beautiful. <laughs> it's so ugly. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Oh, finds the shield poke and Kai up in game four. He's got a huge See, I, road I ahead. I told you, him. sometimes he wins and it's a it's a very like grindy game five set. Man. Oh, great short and oh. oh, that's four coffee. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I've had I, it. I've had enough. No, I really wanted to win now. I wanted to prove you wrong. I wanted to prove that you can SD four times in a set and still win. God. What a world that would be. That could be this world, man. It could be this world. Yeah. Penny, you love Moth Kiss. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. Don't lie to me. Don't, don't bad it. Don't, he doesn't do bad it. Fine. He's entitled to his opinion, even if it's stupid. You're on thin ice, goody. Makes you feel... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it should. Gives you butterflies <laughs> in your stomach? Goody's in love, dude. I don't... <laughs> it should make you feel queasy. Make you feel a little lovesick. Fishing for the jab pretty obviously, and McLeod knows he's still in CC to them. Was the jab back out? Yeah, or jab to like force a tech trap. Right. It's not a knockdown, so the jab is just gonna get punished. Oh. Boy, this is scary for Kai. Kai. Yeah, it's gonna do it. Oh, I wanna punter this McLeod about to prove Nick correct. You cannot SD four times in a set. Exactly. Nobody SD four times can win. Uh, I did not play this Kaylee League. Nothing against the direction they went, but I don't like that there were no new builds. It's made us sink my teeth into you. Speaking of new builds, uh, I'm not making this box really work for him. Yeah, he's got a new layout. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And that's it. 3 1. No, Unfortunately for Kai, he started off that game strongly, but uh, not able to bring it back on the uh, Peach counter pick. So Big 3 1. And now we've got McLeod against Muscat, the newly sponsored Muscat, fresh off a, a win in uh, Winners. A clutch, actually, a reverse 3 air. <laughs> you mean he's fresh off a loss, you're fresh off a win. <laughs> no, but if he's fresh off winning against McLeod oh, I see. when they played. Right. Were you surprised by the Sheik? When yeah, I've never seen it before. I thought there was something up when he gave me a, a sneaky look after he kind of picked Dreamland. <laughs> I choose to believe he's been inspired by me and my garbage chic. He's probably been inspired by every fox. Yeah. And their garbage chic. Apart from Leffen. Leffen, Leffen and his garbage chic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got losers finals. Uh, as expected for the tournament. You got second and third seed duking it out. I thought you were to say as expected for the tournament. We have losers finals. A thing that probably yeah, should happen. Have us. Yeah. Sometimes it's single elim when you don't, though. That's true, and sometimes the top three split the pot, or someone has to leave, or someone DQs out of losers. It's a good, uh, good thing in poker, splitting the uh, the prize, everyone gets take a little less risk. I think I'm going to ask whoever wins this if they want to split and see what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Musk will say yes. I feel like... <laughs> I, just, I just feel like you are probably a, like a, a 19 to 1 favourite or something, like... Over whoever yeah. comes in, like a 95 to 5. Yeah, I think you're right. That's <laughs> a world. I just. I can't imagine you wanting to split the pot, but also it's $45, it's funny which to is ask to. Though, I think. Yeah. I mean, if you ask and they say yes, you have to split it. Alright. Into game one, and Musket's still on the Sheik. He's a Sheik believer. Uh, or he just knows he's going to need it warmed up. Fair enough. I think from what I've heard, McLeod is not the best against you. 
And, um, McLeod actually has been talking a big game against Sheik recently. He's really? He's getting a lot of practice against Sheik recently. Probably from Musket. Probably from Musket, yeah. Musket hiding in the shadows. Never told anyone about his Sheik. I'm about to say, do you know what his, his Sheik Smurf name is? And I probably shouldn't say that on the stream, so I won't. What is it? I'm not saying on the stream. And it's PJ Furious. <laughs> that was a good joke, Nick. <laughs> Even I'm laughing at <laughs> Yeah, famous no, Chad no, bonus no. friend, Musket. Yeah. And Musket. Looking to make the Sheik work against this Peach. Do you think he'll go Fox if it starts to lose? Yeah. This would be frustrating yeah. for McLeod if he has to lose this as well. McLeod putting a lot of work in in the matchup. So it's a bit scary. I mean, Musket's already shown that he can win three in a row. Two and FD. I think he has some leeway, some confidence. Uh, to test this out. And obviously this isn't... This isn't coming in blind, he's playing the clouds stage. You know what Musket knows? He knows that it's my last local ever, but it's not these two's last local ever. Right. And he knows he's in it to win the whole thing. And if he takes a loss to the cloud because he's playing an unfamiliar matchup, then so be it. Hey man, with but all due respect, thing. I want Musket to, to beat you. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it happen. Oh, that's gonna do it. You don't can leave play. SA a defeated man. Like uh, like Don Bradman, you know? Yeah. Bowled out for a duck in his final innings. Very sad. It's not sad, though. It's kind of bittersweet. Yeah. Some things are what too perfect been. to be true. Yeah. Such as me never fucking losing. <laughs> yeah, a nice handing of the torch moment. Yeah, wouldn't that be perfect? You never losing. There must have been a time when you were bad. I mean, yeah. Like, I lost before I was... Yeah. <laughs> Because Ollie, Ollie, Ollie was around, he was good. Yeah, I always wonder how they do those stats. It must be only majors. Like, J. Luke obviously cannot have 37 consecutive wins on Marth and zero losses. Well, it's probably just from the start of Smash GG. Right. At which point he was already good. Yeah. Like, when Smash GG started, I was already good. So. Yeah, pretty good. McLeod is kind of getting a little snuffed by this Sheik. Sheik is really fucking good in this matchup. You this know, is, like, the other matchup I would want to play Sheik for if I was in Lux. Uh, it's, it's one of the things I've been considering, that's why I've picked up the shake. It's, uh, it's Samus, Moth, and Peach. Yeah. Maybe Falcon. It's just so simple to shoot, but uh, the Cloud... Just hold her out, you know. Really good back air. Love that back air. That's the back air that I need to start doing more. Two phone is indeed afraid. Vic. The score is 0-0, zero, zero, Two phone. As indicated by the score. I shouldn't be sassy, we often forget to update the score. Yeah, we did it in fact the very last set. <laughs> Shut up, Tifa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe Tifa has been to several Ooh, that's locals. That's gonna do it. Roll up on the ledge and uh... Sheik's looking good. That's such a risky recovery. You want to ledge there. You don't need to throw away the stock there. You've got plenty of life to live. Especially against Peach, who's not the best at edge guarding off the ledge. Sorry, I'm too busy soaking this in because I would like to be beating Cloud in this matchup. Let's do it, dude. Let's pick she can win. Easy. Oh, you sound like my Twitter. <laughs> That's true. Your Twitter was right. I had never said it was wrong. And Look, what I've Cloud discovered. Is, right back. What I've discovered is it's fun to be the one playing she. I think Australia as a whole is pretty bad against Sheik. Yeah. Even even Josh and Sock going to the US and kind of running into some troubles. Yeah. And the cloud clutches that out while we Sorry, Goody, I haven't I haven't seen Brad's message from you. So maybe you're gonna have to look a little harder if you want to see a Sheik beat McLeod, because uh, it's not happening right now. McLeod Don't clutching I? up at the end of that match. Don't I just have to look at every set he's ever played against Davin? Think. <laughs> Lucky well, he's wearing headphones. <laughs> and we're sticking with the Sheik. Sorry, McLeod. Musket saying, this is my best chance to win the tournament oh, uh, today, even if it's not my best chance to win the matchup. Thanks, Brad. I don't think you can see me, and that's good. Interesting uh, Pokemon pick. I kind of feel Yoshi's in this matchup. 
I like a top flat. I like the, the very narrow blast zones. I mean, at the end of the day, you're horizontally a lot faster than the pitch, so... Right. The, sta the space is always going to be useful to you, but the cloud, once again, starting strong. Yeah, oh, great answer. Beautiful. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. Coverage. And the cloud's edge guards on Sheik are actually looking really good. Um, he's preemptively catching the start up of the uppies. Speaking of uh, Sheik's famously skip, it was in the chat now. Kinda gave McLeod the hands that metal cavern they went to. Yeah, that character is good. One of the best. I believe it was a 3-1. One of the best to ever do it. And McLeod came out saying skip is top 10. I mean, skip kind of is. Well, kind of was at the time, at least. Uh, when Skip's like in in form, you know, when he's playing, when he's active. Oh, he's I'm not making player. any criticism to Skip. I'm not qualified to judge. I'm just uh, relaying <laughs> the wisdom of Mr. Cloud. Yeah. Good Luigi as well. And uh, McCloud just spent a whole stock in the corner, but somehow it made this reversal happen. Uh, that's we call that the chide. Yes. Which I, which he did. I do appreciate it when you were playing someone and you do that and you say you got chived or something similar. Or you, that was a chibi stock. Yeah. I, when, when I'm specifically playing yeah. someone? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you just gotta pay respect to the to greatest to the ever doing. It's true. It's true. I do find, I mean, I name things after the first person I see do them. And I said, that's the J Nuts. And Zai gave me, like, the dirtiest look. <laughs> Great back edge choice. Once again, he goes for that onto tech punish setup with the Nair. There's nothing really you can do about the Nair there. Like, you can just survival the air, because the onto deck is going to get you killed. I've never even considered that. The, uh, I'm not going to onto tech because it's just literally a worse option. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. No, no, it, 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 it makes sense. Yeah. It just... I was always like, I'll learn to arms attack, and then I'll just arms attack all the scenarios. But no, and that was what it was like for the first like two months when people were arms attacking, and then right. people realized like, nah, I can see you again, you know. I wish I was around for the two months where you all couldn't handle slide off the eye. I was there. Yeah, would have been would have been nice. I was there for the two months of arms attack, shield dropping, and slide off the eye. <laughs> shield drop paid dividends to learn early. I'll say. Yeah, just survival DI that. Doesn't have a lot of mix oh, ups, especially counter. now. And, uh, the regular getup's gonna do it. The cloud looking strong. His confidence in the Sheik matchup, not unfounded. And I know the cloud, I'm sure Musket was excited to play me with the Sheik, but the cloud is always hungry to play me, so he wants this. It's true. Are you gonna play him with Puff though? <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> we'll see, probably on Dreamland. I'm going home if you pick Puff on Dreamland. I mean, what else am I going to do at Dream Lives? Uh, Lose? Yeah. Quickly. Musket really trying to find this kill. Finally gets the grab, but he's going to convert. Still kind of scary from the cloud. She can rack up damage fast. And the cloud teleporting out of the uphill. Oh, Sheik off stage one that more was time. a failed shield drop. I was gonna say, try to get that that edge guard set up. Going to. Oh, this is scary. I think this is gonna be it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Will we see the fox? And the clown has been strong. It might be time for the fox. The flood fans at home clamoring for the fox. I think that's vacuously true. <laughs> there are indeed no flood fans. No, it's Barringer. Yeah, I suppose you can be a fan even if you're part of the old. The thing about the Sheik is it can't get hard counter to FD as badly. I'm surprised we didn't see the Sheik on FD in minutes, but I mean the Fox, you know, did it. Yeah. Cloud crazy with it. All that pressure, dude. It's scary. Oh, this is not the stall we want to see. I love having Cloud's player right now. I've been watching this exclusively from Musket's perspective because I'm trying to love this matchup, but uh. He's just playing aggro. He's rushing down. Yeah. He's bulldozing his way in with CC, as you just saw. I mean, oftentimes that's good against Sheik. Page dash, page dash, page dash alert. 
Oh, I see he's a hundred percent. Attention all melee watchers, we've seen a Pez Dash. I don't want to alarm anyone, but there was a Pez Dash. Wait, what was that? What did you say? I think there might have been a Pez Dash. Oh really? <laughs> Pez Dash is like back in 2014 when everyone would shield drop, the commentator would always say, shield drop. Except Pez Dash is not gonna become ubiquitous in the same way. So it's just gonna be every time it happens forever. I don't know. I feel like there are there's probably a couple of Slippy Kid teachers who are just like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna learn that. Dude, that was great spacing around that back air, and the cloud, ooh, I was gonna say, staying alive. Still there for it. Yeah, I'm trying to make the needles rack up, because uh, Peach is a fucking scary to hit, but she can look at that. Goody, man, you can do that, but you have to say it to the man's face. I suppose I said it earlier that I'd be cheering for Musket. If uh, you want Beauty, but uh, I know who your heart wants to win. Boss and Kiss. Give <laughs> the camera a big mouth kiss if you want. Yeah, I will. If I win. <laughs> it's not looking good for uh, I love how for the he opens his mouth in this uh, emo. <laughs> oh, he's fucked it. Ooh, good up there. That's the only thing that really got him out of that situation. I just want to see more melee. Personally. Oh, I don't the ice and musk yet. He could have lived that and probably had a mix up after living as well, but uh, I'm glad really fucking running away with this. Dude, he's so fast. I don't want to see Sad Musket walk down those steps in a moment, but we might be seeing that. Yeah, I think it's pretty much over. Like, there's not really that much you can do to like not trade with Peach. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Well played, uh, Cloud. I respect. I respect the choice. Oh, Nick is uh, we can hear. He's pulling cables through the couch. Oh, oh look, it's just me now. Someone, anyone. Oh, Jeff. So probably okay. Uh, we quickly update those scores so we know that McLeod won. And now, now we uh, have Nick. Nick oh. McLeod. Hello, hello, Jeff. Hello, Mr. Coffee Rat. Thank you. Ready? Go. <laughs> It's gonna be fun, I think. Uh, no, it won't, because if McLeod counter picks with the Dream Lamb, we're gonna see Peach off. Yeah. And uh, that that won't be fun. Wake up, Jeff. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a good one. I'm nice. gonna get a few men named Jeffs in this very soon. He spelled it wrong. You got the double letter in the wrong yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an idiot. No, fucking what a amateur. fucking <laughs> chump, Black. <lads. laughs> time him out. Time you him fucking out. chump. You're gonna get timed out for that. <laughs> Oh my god. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, like look, look at Goody. Another, another fucking chump. <laughs> Guys, you no, got leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave, leave, leave Goody? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. I'm really keen to see this. this oh, I, I appreciate that one. Jeef. Jeef. Yeah. Jeep with an F. Oh. Nobody can get it right, man. Two J's, one F. Moth White, presumably? Yeah. I don't think it's a Moth White option. Yeah, well, he'll just be Moth. But... Sorry, everyone. It's okay. It's actually good on its gift. Alright, we're into it. Two J's, one F. Yep. Gyoffja. This is really on topic. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer the kind of like uh, just shit talking casting instead of just shout casting everything that's happened. Like just an occasional, oh, this cool thing happened, or a reaction. Because uh, people knows know what's going on. They sure do. They know that uh, McFly has been sliced and he has been diced. Yeah. All right. Well. And now he's gonna turn up and the edge guard. Oh. Looks, looks good. Oh no. 
Yeah, just down so much. I feel like uh, Peach players get like a hit to their dopamine receptors every time they get to touch their C stick down. Oh, it's, it's true. And the cloud's got a nice single button. Never any, never any ambiguity. Yeah. No chance well, of hitting a side or an up. Just a C stick down. Nice he got point. it. That was a, like a 40 second edge guard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was on the ropes for a while there. I see so much peach action here. I really want to see Nick pull out the puff just to make the clouds life oh. actual hell. It would be so much fun. His puff is way better than mine. The thing is, I think, uh, and I'm not the first to point this out, I think McLeod is one of the few people who enjoys an eight minute grind. Oh, so do I, man. I love it. Oh. I think uh, it's super interactive. And whoever like gets mad first, like they run out of steam. Game two, they're fucked. <laughs> like you can't do that shit for more than one game in a row. Like most people. I, I can tell you're from South Australia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just a puff player, man. I love yeah. it. I think like uh, don't hate the player, hate the game, and uh, it's just a fun Dude, way to play. The cloud is looking brutal. Yeah. Nick, Nick not looking pleased. In the player count. I've seen him on a stream. He gets angry when he wins. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, find it interesting how much harder oh, your box is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, my cloud was playing up there. They're actually both my boxes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his has Sam was, and I've been silent Sam was, whereas mine has optical switches. Yeah. I wish uh, you could put, like, Cherry MX Blues in there or something. Yeah, you can. Like, really? Really? Yeah. Oh, my God, that'd be so fucking loud. I saw some dude make a ceramic keycaps for his keyboard, and that was really cool. It just sounded like he was like, like tapping his fing like fingernails on a on a vase. It was awesome. Nice, actually. Yeah. I'd kind of like that. I uh, mean, suck if you dropped it. Or oh, absolutely. Had to remove the keycap somehow. It was really heavy keyboard to. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna move your keyboard. I move my keyboard pretty often. You, you push it. I push it. And that's it. I turn it a little. I yeah, get but like you don't even pick it up. It's fine. I pick it up sometimes. That's weird. You're weird. Yeah, I've got a small keyboard though. I've got a 60% keyboard, so I take ah, it around okay. with me. I take it to the library. Really? Bring my laptop. Yeah, because ah. it's like super fucking loud and fun to type on. <laughs> so I like sit in one of the stores here. Nice. Oh, the cloud's actually looking really good. This can just... This stock I think is going to go... Oh, no, he gets no. real. That sucks. And tip an F smash. This is like where the tilt starts to set in. You start gripping your box really hard. Apparently the top half of McLeod's... You mean he has curly hair, Yoshling? <laughs> <laughs> McLeod's head looks like I beat... It kind of does. Like with the fringe. It looks a little bit there. IBDW has a very like uh, rectangular head. It's not shade. I have a very square head. Yeah. Oh man, this stock is lasting ages. Great for McLeod, but Nick just won't fucking die. Yeah, he's got like Peach Ritus. <laughs> he has Marth Ritus. Just some arthritic gamers here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what, as far as I'm aware, that's what happens when you play in control long enough. Yeah. I like, uh, there's this new Not game. you, you play Puff. I play Puff, yeah. <laughs> no, it seriously, like, I I didn't know I was, like, playing the game weird for a really long time. Like, most people just, like, tap their... Yeah, Puff is weird. Yeah, Puff is really weird. People, like, bag on her a lot, but she doesn't play normal. Finally, he's fucking dead. Holy moly. Uh, I've got, like, a dent near my X button, because, like, I just, like, flick my fingernail, like, off it, and there's a huge dent in my controls oh, now. that's how I used to shot Hop as well. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Alright, game one goes to Nick. 20%. I kind of want the cloud to take it. I want Nick to go puff. <laughs> so bad. He will. If he has Dream One, he will. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, so he'll the question do it is, anyway. The cloud knows, right? So the question is, he's he's either picking puff on. Like, he's choosing to play Nick's puff on Dreamland, or he's choosing to play the Moth uh, the Moth elsewhere. Yeah. Yes! Woo! He's Let's go! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So excited. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna browse Twitter for eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take so fucking long. I know uh, McLeod doesn't hate this matchup though. I played against him a bunch and he kicked my ass there. But it's like, who can be more patient and like never land on top of people? No, no, no. Genuinely, he he will he will enjoy this if it's yeah. an eight-minute grind. I love. I really like this too. I just hate playing it in friendlies because. Uh, right. Yeah. Because you don't. It, people. It just makes people mad. Like, but also, you're not putting the pressure on for a reason, right? Yeah. In a tournament, you're there to grind them out. You want them exhausted. Exactly. You want people to play as bad as possible. Like, half of it's mental. I'm not going to Phantom, by the way. 
of uh, extracurricular responsibilities. So, but hopefully, uh, sometime in the next 10 years, I'll be able to attend something outside of SA. That I, yeah, my cloud really likes this matchup. It is fun. If both people are like committed to the grind, then it is really fun to just like get stale back airs. Stitch does so much because she gets the so much. Yeah. I uh, what? Look at that phantom here. You see that? I did not. I was too busy <laughs> not looking at the beach pop on Dreamline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're browsing. The better. only part of that screen I'm looking at is the timer. It's like on a r slash fuck cars or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leaving <fuck>. angry <laughs> comments. You know what? <laughs> you're actually pulling out your phone. No, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to Twitter. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is fun for me to watch. We're almost, we're a minute and a half in and the first one hasn't been taken, but he has like a decided lead. Update. Oh, you're right. Uh, get one back to Nick. Where's Kai? I just want to thumbs him up. He's nowhere. He's gone. Man, if people wanted to get food after this, they're going to be waiting a while. Oh, no, I'm going home, man. I'm fucking yeah, I'm tired. I'm probably just going to get Maccas and hop on the train. I'm getting gimped and glamped in my favorite game. Oh, man. This is huge for Nick. This is actually fun to work. And character icons, you're right. Thanks, Kai. Thank you. This might time out. I really think it will because both we have some patient uh, gamers here. Well, I mean, I, I hate to break it to you, but eight divided by four is two, and they have gone well more than two minutes <laughs> yeah. before anyone lost the start. Well, I mean, if you run out of patience, you will. Uh, Why did Kai? <laughs> you will die much sooner. Oh, oh my god! See, like Peach actually, you. It's such a fun matchup to play, in my opinion. Like, Peach players will complain about it endlessly, because it is bad for Peach. But it's like, who can lay him harder? And, uh, that's what mainly is all about. Look, Enlightenment man. is realizing every character is lame. There's nothing I, you do about it. I played McLeod with my fledgling cheek recently, and he described me as, he's never seen someone whose game plan is to make their opponent as bored as possible. <laughs> and he wasn't wrong. Yeah. Look. I would, I would sit, I would full hop charge needles, and then he came in, I would shoot them, and eventually he would try and pull a turn up in anger, and I would just throw a full pack of needles at him. We would repeat them, and he would just get bored and do something dumb, and then I would run in and grab him. It. it was yeah, great. Yeah, fun. Look at the viewer count just drop. He's and gonna go down <laughs> so hard. And if he put more effort into that, into That's not getting bored, uh, he may be doing better here. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's bored, I think he's enthused. I, I think the tension, like, stops you being bored, but it does eventually get Yeah. Here. Two stocks have been taken, and we're halfway through the timer. Four minutes. Jesus. Oh! That's really smart. You can cover Got a lot him. of those platforms with Peach, and it hits so hard. This is Grand Finals. You're right. <laughs> God damn, dude. I suck at this. I just hopped on. Ah. Oh. I just looked around and everyone kind of gave me like little shakes on the head. <laughs> and Jin uh, Jeff eagerly walked over. Oh my god, he's that's like, huge. Because that's like is hard, 19. Incorrect. That's like 19 neutral interactions, 51%. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. that's an enormous lead. I think McLeod's liking this. Yeah, I think that the problem is like, on some level, like emotionally, this is a gamble on next part too, because if he loses. He's the one who feels like shit. Yeah, it. Uh, this is an embarrassing matchup to lose because you never get to play it as a buff player, and if you lose, you're like, "Fuck, man!" People tell me this matchup is so bad, and I just got my ass kicked. <laughs> but it's also that he chose this eight-minute match. And if yeah, he it, it's like, well, we just lost almost a hundred viewers. Did we really? Yeah. That's where's, bad. where's the view? At, at like 82. We're at 360. Oh shit! Okay. What Peach Puff you, does. You did this, guys. <laughs> you did this. I mean, I'm liking this. This is fun for me. It's actually not bad to watch. I'm gonna be real. Like, the tension of just watching their very slowly incrementing damage versus the clock is kind of fun for me. Yeah. There's a lot going on uh, that most people don't see. Oh man. You can nev just never land on top of Peach. Yeah. Just getting anywhere within Kui of her, you just get comboed pretty hard. But you can just space her out the vast majority of the time. It sucks seeing Peach throw turnips here though. 
but she just pulls him and she goes oh. for a stitch. He's gone. This is not working out for, uh, for St. Nick. <laughs> People don't see because they're not watching. Yeah, also factually true. This bashful. All right. Looks like it's not going to go to time unless this <laughs> goes for two minutes. Well, no, they're uh, they're they're on time, uh, on track for time, right? Yeah. I mean, they could yeah. actually. They just need one slightly longer than average yeah. stock. And look at uh, like Nick's going in. Oh so no, hard yeah, right no, they're now. actually like they're committing. Yeah, they're getting bored. Look, I'm gonna be real. He's 15 to 15. He could eat a lot of yeah he interactions should. now. He could fuck off. Yeah, he should run. He should run for a minute and a half. The so running oh, for a minute and a half is probably quite hard. Yeah. I mean, you can just like ledge camp for a bit. Should have a prediction the match with timeout. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Get some sweet Kaiser channel points. Kai doesn't have any insane <laughs> rewards, which is kind of like sad, because I have like 15k Kai bucks. <laughs> 15 Kai bucks? Yeah. <laughs> From Kaitopia. Oh uh, man. I wish I wish there was something really dumb. Like a spa day. Pick his outfit <laughs> for the next <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Choose how he styles his hair for the next tournament. That's, oh, could that this just be, be it? Yeah, he's used up, he's dead. He's not coming back. Oh man, this is funny. <laughs> oh my god, what a game. Oh, the booze. Oh man. Imagine not going to time. This makes me so happy. I'm, I'm not You're going dream lady. I'm yeah. not making Nick yeah. Plus. <laughs> We're going, we're going, but, uh, I mean, McLeod did almost win. Uh, he's probably closer than he was game one on bats, so. <laughs> Again, yes, I love Melee. Uh, unfortunately for everyone, much like everything that happened in Fight Night, this is also Melee. Yeah. Oh, man. They're, they're, this is a lot faster, though, than it was before, at least. I think Nick realized he was winning. Uh, yeah, he's, the interactions you when win. Seeing, yeah. You win a lot of them. If like if you approach Peach, it's kind of like Falcon. Weirdly, if you approach Peach on the horizontal, yeah, and just space back as you win, like fucking all the time. Unless she has a turn up, and then your stuff gets stuffed out. And you get hit with like a dare and then. Was well, like I, I guess my point was that I think like when Nick oh, was trying to stick. camp, he was losing to the turnips. Yeah. And when he was going in, he was winning like enough interactions to be positive. Yeah, the turnips really make this. And it's not like McLeod's gonna he like this is not a very played matchup, so it's not like he's gonna be able to power shield everything like Lod does. Also, I think Lod's afraid, um, so. I think uh McLeod does does like at least think about this matchup a lot because he's been preparing for Nick for a long time. Yeah. And he knows this is a real possibility. Like the final boss of SA. Yeah. Soon to be gone. This is Soon a lot to be gone, time. yeah. He's gonna be the new boss of SA. Maybe. The head honcho here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly what as soon as I as soon as I can ledge dash in tournament, you're all fucked. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played you before. I really need to hop back on the ground <laughs> for this sometime. It's a fun game. Muscat is SA new. Bump the game timer up to 10 minutes. Nah, we need to make. <laughs> if you really want to stop it, you should like put it to three minutes or four minutes. But if you love puff, you should like put it to 15 uh, or an hour. final is a puff who, yeah. who loves this. Uh. There's just so much going on that uh, most people don't think about. That fucking forward smash is so strong. It was like, yeah, I mean, if this is Fox Peach, 40% is nothing. But in this matchup, this is uh, that's a lot of work for McLeod to make up. Yeah. He's just eating it, man. He's like going to the stop platform. Josh, like, musket is not SA Nick. If you made it 15 minutes and then, like, reduced the ledge grab limit by a bit, might might be pretty cool. As a spacey player, I don't see an the past three minutes unless I'm playing against a dog, so it doesn't really impact me. Yeah, that's a true combo, by the way. The, yeah, yeah, the it dare. is. When she gets put in the dumble, uh, tumble animation, if you L cancel up smash, she always gets hit by it. I'm told it's not that easy, though, to hit. It is fucking super hard to hit. Okay. It's really weird, because you have to hit certain frames of the down air, and then based on where she's hit, your L, uh, L cancel timing gets messed up. The reason, the reason I'm not sure is because the person who told me is a Puff player who thinks everything Puff does is hard. Puff is like... Her mechanics are really easy. It's just the uh, knowing where to do it and when to do it. It's hard. That's about it, though. Good at you're on thin ice. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my god, he could have got a rest there. The big card has graduated from rollout to being good. Rollout's a fantastic move, man. I love whipping that out, like mid set. It's so bad. It's so bad. It like, when it hits though, they get sent flying. I think Jigglypuff's uh, forward smash is like so underused though. It's yep. really, really good. The big card going slightly bold at 12. Kind of unfortunate. <laughs> slightly bold at 12. Yeah. Another year older, another year bolder. Oh, there's the stitch. This could do a lot. The crowd did audibly cheer for the stitch. The stitch! If only you could hear the enthusiasm in this room. It's popping off. Genuinely the most emotion I've seen from these people all day. Yeah, people are losing their minds for better or for worse. <laughs> Maybe it's just the matchup speaking. If, uh, I'd be really happy if McLeod won this, just so we could watch some more. <laughs> uh, I think we'd be seeing Yoshi's Moth. Or FD and Moth. Yeah. Or maybe Nick wants to be the third person in this room trying a, a sheet count of it. Yeah. <laughs> Dream of page. Yeah, I hope so. Alright. This is really, really close. Hey, make it gentlemen back to Dreamline. This is a way faster game as well. This is more than a minute That's faster. True. Yeah. Think about how much faster it might be next game. <laughs> this matchup is really sad because you can't really rest Peach that often. You can like hit her with an up to a, like low percent. But if you do rest her, it's enormous. Yeah, it's right? huge. Like, she has to work so hard to make it work. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> As I say, you can't <laughs> rest him. <laughs> Absolutely uh, brilliant. Wait, Congratulations. Nick, Nick dab or floss. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey! There we go. Oh, you love to see it. He's, uh, how do we go to, how do we change over to the, wait, Nick, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> Absolutely elated. How do we go? Oh, Nick again. We didn't catch it. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Oh. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah, that's awesome. uh, Goody is pleased. He says, thanks, Nick. You'll definitely get a sponsor that way. All right. That's a fun tournament. Thank you, everybody, for watching. That uh, grand final set was... Uh, the best set all day, may I say. Always enjoy this stuff. Uh, our viewer count actually went up a little bit at the end there. Yeah, they, still, they heard about the stitch. And yeah, they heard about the stitch face. for the rest. Incredible. Yeah, Leffen dropped it on Twitter. Oh my god. A <laughs> stitch. Yeah. McLeod SA pulled a stitch face. It's over. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Catch you later. Uh, who let this guy control the stream? Don't tell me. Wait, it's gone? Uh. Goody, that one was for you. Yeah, I would love for you to win his interview here. You know, that's the last South Australian local I'm going to win. Yeah, number one victory rail. Yeah, I'm coming to Vic. I'm going to be gaming up a storm over there. Love that. Got my cloud jumping on. Valiant effort. Grueling Dreamland matches. How does it feel being the champion once again? SA Nick. For maybe the last time in a South Australian local for a good while. A little, little bittersweet, I'm not going to lie. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it's the end of an era for sure. Yeah. Say exact address. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually know the address. So. Well, the start of an exciting new era. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh, man. What do you think of Puff Peach and Marth Peach? And I, why your dual Explain your domain in general. Like your thought process I think behind I'm Dreamland. It's Marth Peach is such a hassle. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, this is obviously a hassle, but it's like a hassle for everyone. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. It's like when, like, what what other matchups do you do you like picking the Peach? I noticed you didn't pick it versus Moscow. Well, and no, because I knew he would pick Fox. Oh, if you count, like, oh, okay, because you have to pick first because yeah. you lost. Yeah, sure, sure, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really want to play Buff Fox yeah, that until I'm a bit better at that matchup. Do you strictly do you do it player to player, or do you do it strictly based on matchup at this point? Uh, matchup usually. Like yeah. in America, I was doing it based on matchup. Yeah. Um. Did you get it? Yeah. Good shit, dude. Yeah, I didn't know about the Muscat cheek actually. That was uh, yeah, kind of blindsided me a bit. Muscat, uh, he's been playing it a ton yeah. recently. Like um, when I play, go over to his house or have sessions at Evac. Like half his games are cheek, and I imagine Crazy. when he plays unranked, he always plays secondaries. And like I've just noticed it's gone a lot better recently. So he felt, I think it's a, uh, it's a lot better than what it showed. But I think it's the sort of point where it's like it's a secondary, and you're not used to tournament with a secondary yet. Yeah. So like it's just a different. It's just something where you you have to get that character used to tournament rather than just friendlies. That's true. You did a good job of uh, edge guarding oh, against you. Musket in particular. Yeah, I was I was relatively happy with that. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, he won the last. So I, when I went over, we always play sets to the end of the friendlies. He won, won the last cheek set. So I am uh, grateful that I didn't get owned in this one. But I did want to run back on the fox. Um, I was feeling good, but obviously yeah. Muscat thought he could win. So. I was talking to Coffee Respect on stream it. about the uh, losing the last set advantage. Yeah. Because when yeah. you lose the last yeah. set, you've got all the fresh ideas about what you need to change. When you yep. win the last set, you're like, I'm still the king. Yep. Yep. Don't I need agree. to change that. To change anything. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I, I've always said, oh, like, <laughs> losing, winning sucks, actually. <laughs> winning actually just stinks yeah, if you want to get better. Yeah. Losing is actually just nuts. It's like, because when, when you have to, when you win, it's like, you have to manage winning. When you're losing, it just does it for you. It's like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. See, Goody, when we play Frienders, I'm doing you a favor. Yeah, just, the more you get owned, <laughs> the more mad you'll be, the more you're trying to fix it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Is there a Ryan here? Is there Whoa. a Ryan here? Badass. Damn. Well, this won't be the last. I'll see you in a week. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Oh yeah, be no able shit. to have another one. We'll be in, in Com together in Melbourne. Com is gonna be crazy. Com looked. I didn't realize. Like, I just like uh, Goody. Literally, just was like, "Yo, do you want to come to Com?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I guess if I can get housing." He's like, "I'll house you." And I'm like, "All right." And then I just find out it's like a one one k pride foot full production. I was just thought I was just popping over for a local, and I'm like, He's, "You know, nice." Yeah, it looks epic. I don't know <laughs> if it's. Uh, is it even announced? <laughs> Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it was actually announced. Today. I had to keep yeah. it under wraps for a while. I had to lie to people. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I had to say every day there is no calm on the twenty twenty fifth. Well, he said there was calm on the twenty fifth, but he didn't. He didn't. And he was literally just like, "That's it." With no other details yet. Now, shout outs to Kalen. Kalen putting in the work. Phantom and calm. I don't know. Love a new tournament series or a revamped old tournament mm. series. Which Love awesome. the uh, the money, the production, <laughs> the hype. Yep. It just feels good. Osmaley feels good right now, honestly. Keep it going. And then hopefully Phantom having the internationals. Maybe we can get someone get some Randy upset. Would be really cool. Yeah. That would be that would be sick. Nobody's beaten J-Mook. I'll say that much. Yeah. <laughs> not from a... <laughs> maybe if he goes That's Fox. That's a tough one. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It should be a lot of fun. So I don't know. I'm happy with that tournament. I'm like from, from my perspective, that was probably the best tournament I've played since switching. So nice. we're only up from here. Yeah, good shit. Since switching to box or switching yeah. layout? Switching box. In general, yes. like, like, cause I don't know. I think like I've won other sets, but I like I won other people like either played worse or I think just over. I think that was probably the best I played, even though Moscow beat me. So um, yeah, you were you were clean. You were moving fast yeah. in a lot of the matchups, especially against Sheik. You were crazy. Yeah, I felt I I, I don't know. That matchups a lot of fun when you get to play it. Like I don't know, I've always I've always been a cheat complainer because I'm just like, man, I don't get to play this character. I'm, I'm it'd probably like it if I got to play it, and then like every, I got to play it like every day for two weeks, and I'm like, wait, this is sick. I like Sheik. This is cool. Mm, maybe that's my problem. I should have played it more. Yeah, you literally just played it. Like if it's I feel like Sheik's this weird character. Like Sheik is, has different rules to every other character. Like I think it's just a character. Like at least from the Peach perspectives, the, like the big thing I had to learn is moving back is bad. Like, really bad in most spots, but moving forward is really good. So if you can get under the Sheik, it's not, like, from the Peach perspective. If you can get under the Sheik, it's, like, insane. And, like, moving forward, like, Sheik has to commit to something, like, pretty bad to hit you for moving forward. Whereas moving back, all she has to do is she just runs yeah, up and grabs you or she jumps. I saw you do a lot of sequences where you would just, like, run in, crouch, and, like, box with Nez. Yeah. And just, like, bully your way in, which was good. Yep. All right. Anyway, um, I guess we can finish up.
Well cool. watched stream. Thank you. Thanks for the the Moki Bondon raid, whatever that was. That was Love sick. That. Get six hundred people on some SA melee. Yeah. All right. All right peace catch. Out. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Much appreciated for coming by. Uh, loved having everyone here. Thank you for coming through to another um, another Cheese League. Always, always appreciated. Thank you for everyone who followed earlier today. Yeah, really love all the support. Thank you for Bundan for hyping everyone up at Orb and then sending them over to me. That was really, really nice. Um, as always, guys, you can follow all the happenings in South Australia. Um, yes, we will complete the bracket. Thank you. Um, ah. Oh, no. What happened there? Why did we lose? Wait. Ah, oh, it's because I pressed the wrong button. There. Wait. No. There we go. Hey, what's up? Um, do we need to finish the bracket? Hey. Let's see. Yeah, so yeah, thank you, Bundan, for hyping everyone up in o uh, Orb and hosting me immediately afterwards. That was really nice. Oh, we have, we're have we so far behind in the bracket. That's so funny. We will finish this right now. McLeod Coffee Rex was 3-0, wasn't it? It was 3-1 between me and McLeod. Uh, guys, what was the score between Nick and Musket? I think it was the 3-0. And what was the score between Musket and McLeod? I actually don't know. Someone has to fill me in there. What was what was the McLeod Muscat game? I need someone to tell me. Actually, um, yeah. So please, please follow my Twitter if you don't already. Follow Catrose SA on Twitter. Uh, check out the vods. They'll be uploaded to SA Smash TV. Um, they should be up, you know, within a month, hopefully. Um, Always have a good time coming out and streaming these events, uh, and it's things like following the channel that really, really help me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like the video because that's always nice as well. All right, guys, I'm Dunzo. Yeah, I need someone to tell me. Hey, Musket, what was the score between you and McLeod? All right, thank you. Hype. Flood the stars. Um, and then it was three o. Nick McLeod. There you go. Finish the bracket. Thanks, folks. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Really nice having you here. Uh, now we gotta go host you off to someone else. Um, we have to go host someone. Guys, we have to go host someone. We have to host someone. Um, let's see. All right, guys. Oh wait, no, that's a real one. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Um. Hmm, what do we, where do we want to go, guys? Where do we want to go? You know what? I'm hosting Daisy. I'm, I'm raiding Daisy. They are... I think they're still doing a subathon, actually. Yeah, they are. Go give go give your local Adelaidean cat girl some money. All right, everyone, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'm peacing out. Thank you for stopping by, everyone. Love you lots. See you next time. Bye.